Sorry, sorry about that. Seems I'm either forgetting everything or remembering everything today. Not sure what, but anyway. Let me... Boop. <laughs> Give me a sec. There we go. So, happy Monday, everybody. As far as I'm aware, it can be a pretty happy Monday. I'm not too sure. Anyway, as I said, um, or as I said, I didn't say shit. <laughs> um, well, no, as this uh, title suggests, I am going to finish Night in the Woods tonight, which I'm excited about. Um, but I mean, <laughs> you don't mind me. I've had so much on my mind lately. Um, both good and both I really need to, you know, talk to my therapist about. <laughs> Uh, anyway, um, yes, maybe up the volume a little bit, uh, let me get the display capture on, only reason I say is because I have, oh, you know, um, so like I said, there is, or like I posted, um, we have a bonus stream this Saturday, and, because I know right now there's not a whole lot of people in chat, which is fine. I don't mind. Uh, I do have another bonus stream for uh, next week. Just to kind of see how I, mainly how I feel about it. But, um, I just don't know if I want it on Tuesday or Thursday for the bonus stream. But we'll see. Anyway. I'll talk about that more, maybe Friday? Yeah, if I remember, Friday will definitely be it. Anyway, I'm excited to finish this. Oh, I should probably open up my... Get that. Reset it because my phone, or, well, stream manager was like, mm. <laughs> All right. Erg. Yeah, seems like that's going around. The erg. Yeppers. So, uh, you mom had a bit of a fight yesterday, huh? Yeah. I thought you two were getting along. Um. Hmm. I'd say we were. But we talked about it. I just hate to see the two of you on the outs again. It'll be fine. We're cool. Okay. Highly doubt that, though, if we're, uh... I don't know. Actually, I think if I go in here and be like, Hey, Dad, can you move this out of the way? I don't know. Are, you gonna, are we going to say anything to Dad? Please? I'm actually going to see if I can talk to him about it. Be like, yo, Dad, can you move that? Oh, okay. Sounds good, kid. In a long couple of days. What? Oh, friends, hello. Uh, let me know when you want to hit the cemetery. Oh, right, I should be around most nights this week. I don't know, thanks, Bia. Uh, don't thank me too hard. I'm going there anyway, and it's like right down the road. You're ruining this. Oh, in that case, uh, you are so incredibly welcome, and also, you better not forget this big favor. That's more like it. I'm falling asleep. Have fun tonight. Uh, sorry if I was grouchy. It's just... It's fine. Wait, did you fall asleep? Oh, honey! <laughs> Yo, I looked up the historical society on the internet. It's really old, but then they have, uh, they did big renovations. Oh, really? I mean, listen, I'm not saying there's a ghost, but 
old stuff that just got uh, torn up seems like Ghost Central generally is usually the case. Um, more activity will spring up when you uh, do renovations because the ghosts are like, ah, fuck no. They're like grouchy old people most of the time. Unless you're this one case I heard on a podcast um, where there was a ghost. Uh, there was like two ghosts because they lost something. And then during renovations, they found what they were looking for and put it back where it was supposed to be. And, you know, at that time, I think that was the only time a ghost actually appreciated there being renovations. I listen to way too much lore because it just makes me sleepy. Well, I wouldn't say it makes me sleepy. It's interesting, but like puts me in a good sleepy mood. Anyway, if anybody is interested in spooky, spooky podcasts, that's a good point. Uh, yeah, it seems like a central house. So, um, your ghost hanging around in an old house and then someone puts in a pool where you died or something. <laughs> Haunted pools would be actually pretty scary. I'm spooked. I'm going to go to bed. Hey, Jay, how's it going? <laughs> Good to see you. I'm going to bed. Hey, May. Uh, let me know when you want to go to the park. I looked up a map, and it's a pretty straight uh, shot up to Possum Jump. Okay, great. Uh, we never really got a chance to hang out. It'll be fun, I think. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Night, sir. Tips hat. <laughs> oh no. Uh, right, I can do that. Bedtime? Yes. Oh yay, more of these. Fuck. <laughs> Actually, I'm kind of scared to jump off because I don't know if I'm going to lose my way or not. So I should... Oh. Oh, okay. I thought I was going to fall off. Oh, am I supposed to... Okay. I thought I was supposed to avoid that, but I guess not. supposed to oh no I just run up here okay mm, now I'm nervous <laughs> okay so what happens if I go down here big long jump big scary long jump okay anything over here no wonder if there's something up here. Might have to... Well, that's a light post, so that helps. Oh! Hey! Uh... Huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Anything? Oh, nice. Hey, Arthur, how's it going? <laughs> as I drink water. <laughs> I'm doing good. It's good to be able to finish this game. Uh, since it's been something I've been wanting to play for a while, and now that I get to see the ending, I'm like, 
Hell yeah. <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine, honestly. Oh god, now I have to try to figure out a way up. <laughs> Wait, I can't climb up the triangle? Oh, no, I can't. Okay. Wait. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I'm underwater. There's also, like, dead people floating, and I'm kind of not okay with that. <laughs> like... Actually, now that I think about it, I think that might be my friends. Hmm. Please. Ah. Oh, wait. Oh, well. I guess I should get that light. Oh, there was a... Oh, no, I got that light. Like... Yeah, I... To say that I am not confused is, um... Or to... You know, I, I don't know how to form words. All I know for sure is I am very confused and I thought the, uh, I thought those fish were gonna attack me. I was like, oh no. Okay. Oh, nope. I need up here. I don't know who this dude is. He's like the only alive person in this dream. Okay, um, alright, I think I just gotta continue this way. Okay, but can I, like, quickly stop and say, like, how good the music in this section is right now? Like, this is pretty, is nice. Um. Am I going, yes, I am, okay. All right, time. Probably one of the scariest so far. Yeah, Cosmic Goose. Hey, no worries. I know you've been having a busy time lately, and uh, yeah, get all the rest you need. Yeah, I don't know what is scarier, the Cosmic Goose or the Cosmic Bear? Because those are the ones I remember the most so far. <laughs> Uh, last night inspired me. For longest time- for the- for longest night, I'm getting you a library card. <laughs> You're welcome. Is it because we don't know how to read? <laughs> uh, dude, my mouth tastes weird this morning. Like a tire. I'll be at work, uh, trying to wash it out with whatever's in the cooler. Hmm. A way message. Plants are to be pitied as they cannot know how big and how cool they are. Dr. Kathy Conaclin, National Astronomy. Each t sure, my guy. <laughs> Actually, that's a cool going out message. Like, Plants don't know how amazing they are. To yeah, that's true. Hold on, I need to s <laughs> Now that you've mentioned it. Hmm. Oh god, you're right. Can I... Oh, that's so weird. It's like a left-handed mouse, too. Which you'd think I'd be used to, or I would know because I'm left-handed, but no. What is this? <laughs> it's an abomination. Mm-hmm. Which, like I said, is interesting. But then again, I grew up as the only lefty in my family, so I had to deal with all the right-handed stuff. So it's also weird to me, too. <laughs> Hello, Mom. 
Morning, sunshine. You feeling okay? You look a little limp. Yeah, um, weird dreams. Weird night. You say weird a lot. Uh, just being honest. You taking headache meds? Um, they're in the bathroom cabinet. Yeah, I am. They're kind of working. Kind of not. Well, maybe you need more sleep. I mean, more than ten hours or so you already get. You've already been- you've always been my sleepy girl. Oof. What did you do last night? Went to the library with B. That sounds nice. It was. Weird. Interesting. Okay, gotta go. Be safe, hon. And uh, take it easy, you really do look a little tired. I mean, every night we've been having strange dreams of chasing musicians and looking at cosmic animals, so... Yeah. Uh, getting out makes me feel better. Me too. Uh, maybe it's a good day to get out in the fresh air. I'll let you know. Bye, sweetie. And out we go. I think, I wonder if, um, the teacher is out right now. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, he isn't. Hey, Selmers. <laughs> hey, Selmers, you were great last night. Aw, thanks. Uh, having... Having you, uh, to bounce ideas off helped. I am good for that. Want to hear a new poem? Sure. This is a short one. Because I'm tired. Me too, so that works out. <laughs> Ahem. I got mad one time. It was online. I've been mad <laughs> on the internet before too. Yeah, it's called Twitter. Uh, it's crazy making. Okay. Very interesting. I don't like how I sometimes can accidentally jump on squirrels. It makes me a little upset. Oh, I do want to go with, um... I have to decide who I want to go with. Like, do I want to go to the graveyard? Do I want to go to, um, the point? Do I want to go to... I don't really want... I don't really care about the combo. Um... And then there was a historical society. Actually, I haven't been able to hang out with, um... What's his name? Angus, I think his name is. Might as well... Might as well say hey. Yo. So, I said I could, like take you up to the park. You did indeed. You ready to go? Yeah. I'm excited. Are you? Yeah, we never get to hang out. Ghost hunting with Angus. Ah, so you think the guy you saw was a ghost? Not a guy, a ghost. Right. Why does no one believe me that it was a ghost? Well, I mean, ghosts don't actually exist. I'm pretty sure they do. Well, I need evidence. What counts? Uh, ghost walking up and saying hello? Uh, and me saying, hey, I... <laughs> me saying, hey, I verified you, you are a dead person, hun. It's October. Step into my apartment at any time and I can show you a ghost. It's not that hard. Could be a zombie or a Frankenstein. Or maybe if they're made of ghosty stuff. Ghosty stuff can be, um, can be- Ghosty stuff can be our podcast. I like that. You have to bring your death- <laughs> You have to bring your death certificate and you have to show me, um, or tell me where- where you've been buried. I need- Not only do I need the physical evidence, I need the government-issued evidence, um, And throw in uh, actually talking to me, because I'm lonely. <laughs> About ghosts. Um, 
This episode of Ghosty Stuff brought to you by Donut Wolf. Welcome to Ghosty Stuff. I'm May, and I <laughs> and I saw ghosts, and this is Angus, who doesn't believe me. I'm Angus, and this is May. She's a crazy person. <laughs> I feel like I'm that in my group, my group of friends. The fucking crazy. Nice evening. Yeah, it, it's all right. My mom used to take us up here to play frisbee. I, I got hit in the teeth with a frisbee once full speed. Jeez. Casey and me were throwing things at each other's heads. <laughs> Why does this sound like dumb shit me and my brother would do? Oh. Uh, we stopped after the frisbee. <laughs> this either sounds like dumb shit me and my brother would do or this is dumb shit I would still do. Posted. Do not feed or touch the wildlife. Well, that seems extreme. Well, clearly. That seems extreme. I don't know. You can't go to the woods to, like, socialize with the woods. Yes, you can. It's called talking to the trees. I guess. Um, there's some folks living in cabins up here. You can, uh, feed and touch them if you want. Yeah, let's go touch the locals. <laughs> uh, it's a weird old place up here. There's all kind of weird stuff back up in the park. Uh, old stuff just hanging out in the woods. Uh, we'll hit my old scout camp on the way up, I think. Busy woods. Okay, better get going before it gets dark. I think there's like only one way to go, but I should actually just see where Angus is. Okay, hi. Hello, good friend. Mima. I do still like how she called herself that she has nightmare eyes. I'm like, that's pretty dope, though. Oh. Oh, yeah. The random chimneys out of nowhere. Huh, huh. You alright? Angus, why are we here then? Yeah, I got asthma and all. Uh, sorry, you gotta wait for me. Uh, do you have an inhaler? Uh, didn't you run cross country back in junior high? Do you have an inhaler? Yeah, but I save it for emergencies. Being slow is an emergency. What is this thing? Uh, this is like a lime kiln, I think? I thought it was a chimney. Limes? Kiln? Uh, like a furnace. Oh, furnace or what? For what? Limestone. You like to do something with it in there? And it becomes the other thing. Oh. Limestone's weird because it's mostly made of skeletons of sea creatures. From millions of years ago. It's called talking with the ants. <laughs> yeah. So like, uh, this was all underwater or something at one point. Whoa. Whoa. I know, right? Like, right where we're standing, there was, like, ancient horrible sea monsters. Creepy. And awesome. That's history. It's true, though. It is very true. Okay, I'm ready to go. Right up we go, Angus. Oh, look, another one. We gonna talk at this one, too? <laughs> Phew. Need to take a break? I'm okay, I'm okay. No problem. <laughs> uh, so if this place was underwater, uh, where'd the water go? Uh, why aren't there any ancient shark bones up here? I don't know. There might be, I guess. But not everything becomes a fossil. Why? I don't know. I'm not an expert on this. Uh, if I remember correctly, um, it just get some mush together and kind of becomes like I don't want to say like a soup but that's basically how oil is made <laughs> it's a soup of dead of dead things which is weird <laughs> I don't know I'm not an expert in any of this but there were definitely ancient sharks around here weird because uh, things are so boring nowadays to think like all that crazy stuff was going on here there's always more weird stuff that happened uh, to find out about later. Okay, I'm ready to go. Cool, cool.
Papa, Wheeze. Are you sure you're okay? Same. Are you sure? Yeah. Huff. Uh, sorry. Puff. Puff. Seriously, it's fine. Uh, hang for a minute. Okay. I should know all this stuff about, like, ancient sea creature, uh, rocks or whatever. Lime. <laughs> Stone. I was gonna take a class on dinosaurs back at school. What happened? It was all full up. That cloud uh, fills up fast. I bet. Love a dinosaur. Dinosaurs are like the most interesting animal. What did say? I love di Who doesn't? Things were so scary and cool back then. We die in like five minutes. <laughs> oh yeah, ancient creatures would eat us up. No problem. True. <laughs> oh. Actually, that makes sense. I knew it was made of something that was old and dead, but and then again, I probably shouldn't say that living, or I probably should have known that uh, living in the province that is, that the only interesting thing is uh, fossils. <laughs> I know that too. <laughs> I know that. Have you seen like tigers and wolves and shit? And knowing me and how dumb I am, I'd be gone in a heartbeat. <laughs> or bears. But like, why do they look like- why do they look like friends? And yet are like, stronger than most wrestlers. I say most because I've- I've seen videos of uh, Russian wrestlers. It's- it's insane. Uh, be glad for the millions of years between us. Weird. Alright, time dude. Uh, time makes the most dangerous things less dangerous. Most things, at least. Okay, you ready to roll? Yeah, we're almost to the top. Well, that was a hike. That was a lot easier when I was 11. We passed, what, three gates on the way up? I lost count. Weird, it used to be open back then. Hmm, ready to go? Not far now, just up ahead. Let's go. Graves, huh? Yeah, these were, I forgot. They were involved in the Possum Massacre. Like the labor strike thing. Uh, whatever it was like, min uh, miners versus the National Guard, uh, happened in back in the town like a hundred years ago. Why are they up here? I think these were some of the bad guys, uh, some of the and some of the miners. Didn't want them buried in town. Oh, huh. There's like a few old graveyards up here from like colonial times. I guess there's one up here somewhere too. Well, that's spooky. Eh, just bones. Ancient shark bones. You see, nothing left to be scary. We'll see about that. We'll see. Boing. <laughs> just jump off. Wow, we're really up high. <laughs> really far out. I can't see the town from here. Uh, it, it's south of- yeah, It is south of us behind whatever ridge that is. So, are we just supposed to wait here and see if anything happens? You tell me. You're the expert. I guess we'll just wait here and see if anything happens. Nice night. Yeah. Back at school, I couldn't see as many stars. That always made me sad. Oh yeah, they're really nice up here. I wish I knew the constellations like you did. What? You know all the names and, and the stories and stuff. I wish. I can never remember them other than... I think that one up there, uh, it... There's like a bell or something? No, 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 no. Remember that time we were all at the Longest Night bonfire? 
And we spotted the constellations together, and you told us all about them. That's not a thing that happened. Oh, wow. Maybe it was like a dream or something. God, I barely remember now. I wonder what fake constellations and stories you dreamed up. Okay, humor me. I'll find the constellations, you tell me about them. Okay, then. A. Hey. No fun. I like it. Alright, find me some constellations. Wait, are these going to be real ones or fake ones? Just ones I remember. Or dreamed that one time. Ugh. Whichever. Remember Mr. Uh, Chazakov? Yeah, the science teacher. He lives on um in Underhill and has a telescope on his roof. Yeah, that can happen though. And I totally saw some stars uh, through it. That's cool. Telescopes are cool. Wish I had a telescope. God same. Okay, let's see. Oh. I don't know if I'll be able to... Uh, oh, oh, am I? Okay. Why is it that sometimes I can use my mouse and then sometimes I just can't? What? Please? Just go over here because it's easy. What? Are you not a constellation? Why do I have to do it with the WASD? Mm. <laughs> Can I? Nope. No, this is definitely something I need to use my. Um... Okay. I want to make a triangle. Let me make a basic triangle. Okay. Uh. Do something fancy. I don't know. Can I make any of? I know this one. What? You're not gonna let me connect, or? What? <laughs> okay, I have a feeling there is actually a, a specific order I need to do these in. Okay, that's a bell. Okay, so I got that one. And in the middle is this eye. Looking at you. Okay, that's, um... I know this one from a little... I know this one a little from the prog rock album covers. I think the world ends when it rings. I think you die when it rings when it's looking at you. Uh, when it's looking at you? Well, crap. It's high up enough. It's kind of always looking at all of us, right? God damn. <laughs> okay. It is a uh, spooky bell. Got it. Spooky death bell. I wonder... Do I need to connect with these? Okay. It's a whale. And it's got, like, the world on its back. Oh, wow, that's sad. Why? Why does it have to carry the whole world? Uh, like, that's really unfair. <laughs> yeah. Um, that is legitimately upsetting. You gotta wonder why people made these up. I mean, like, these specifically. Who saw a whale and was like, needs to be carrying something? I mean, whales are pretty big. Uh, they didn't know... They didn't know what the Earth was. Yeah, but like... I don't assume everything I don't understand is a whale. But you could start. 
you can, I don't know, open your mind to that? Like, Jesus. I'm guessing this is a constellation, then? It's a pup. Yeah, no worries. He breathes fire. Oh, this one is real. Or at least uh, the dude is. Rubello? There's a statue of him outside the church. Oh, we never went there. Did your family, did your family go to church? Do you not know your saints at all? Did your family not go to church? Weddings and funerals, uh, and longest night, basically. I didn't think those first two count. <laughs> those are like events. My mom works up at the church now. I haven't gone really since I was like 14 or 15. Does she mind? She pretends not to. I... <laughs> It's a cat. He's got arrows sticking out of him. And he's chasing a diamond. Oh, I know this one. Don't remember his name. He lived, um... You remember the stories about the forest god. Yeah. My grandma used to tell me... Tell me Adina stories. Oh, okay, yeah. Anyway, this cat was in there. Uh, like, bleh. like shiny things was good at getting through the forest. Was really good at stealing. Oh wow, yeah, I used to call him Ass Cat when I was a little. Well, then he stole. Well, then he stole a diamond from a king and got arrowed to death. But he was slick enough that he jumped. That he jumped out of his body, and became immortal or something. Huh, decent. <laughs> Extremely decent. We're like way out here, huh? In the park? Yeah, I guess. Spooky. I don't know, it's pretty safe. And the stars are pretty. So you don't believe in ghosts at all? Nah, don't believe in ghosts or gods. Or psychic powers or anything like that. Not at all. I mean, there's no evidence for them. And people have really tried. But did you ever? Yeah, when I was a kid. Tell me about it. So, um, I don't know how much I've ever told you, or how much Greg has told you, but I didn't have the best childhood. Yeah, I think I heard that. Why was it bad? Um, my dad didn't like me, and my mom didn't either. And like, um, you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. No, it's fine. Um, my dad used to hit me a lot, and my mom was probably worse. She, like, wouldn't feed me, which is why I really like cooking now. <laughs> she'd, she'd like to shove me into the pantry and slam the door really hard, and all the stuff would fall off the shelves on top of me. Oh my god, Angus. I didn't know at all. That's awful. She'd lock me in there for like a day at a time sometimes, or overnight, so I'd like to try to develop psychic powers, so I could signal the neighbors or unlatch the door. Didn't work, as you might guess. Did you ever tell anybody? I never did. I didn't- I don't know why. After a while, I like, started feeling guilty or, um, too for some reason. Like it was something bad I was doing. Like, being abused. Angus, that's not your fault at all. You were a kid. Don't worry, I know that now. Boy, do I ever. Question. Can I go kick all of their asses? Same. Same. Like, I've got experience, I can have some shit up. 
Well, my mom is kind of old now. I still have to visit her sometimes. I have a brother. He's overseas in the army. And my dad left like 10 years ago. So who knows where he is or if he's even alive. If he is alive, I don't want to know about it. I don't blame you. Angus, I just want to give you a hug forever. <laughs> well, I was luckier than a lot of kids. I'm just glad I didn't like... Yeah. Anyway, uh, to your original question. Testing out my psychic abilities in the pantry made me really interested in both paranormal, paranormal stuff and science. And I joined the Skeptic Society on the internet. And that kind of ruined me on a lot of other supernatural bullshit. And it gave me something to solve. Something you could debunk or know. I don't know. It saved me a little bit, I guess. Because when someone does all that stuff to you, it can, like, make you do some bad things to yourself. But anyway, yeah. No ghosts or god. So, like, I feel like I'd been through that. I'd be more likely to want to believe in God or something. Do you believe in anything at all? Uh, well, so like the constellations, I don't believe there's a whale out there. But I, uh, believe that the stars exist. And that people put the whale out there. Like, I don't know. We're good at drawing lines through the spaces between stars. Like, we're pathfinders, and... We'll find patterns, and we, like, really put our hearts and minds into it. And even if we don't mean to, so I believe in a universe that doesn't care. And people who do. Pattern finders. I feel like a lot of people don't think they found God. Oh, did I, um... Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, what the shit? Alright. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the shit? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie. That's a I think that's actually more spooky than looking for the ghosts in game. What the shit? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. I guess somebody didn't like me talking shit about them, huh? <laughs> oh, hold on. I think my thing is a little laggy. Give me a sec. Oh, not that. Not what I was looking at. <laughs> what the fuck? I, right? Like, what the sh- <laughs> Ugh. Oh, that is a nightmare. That, that, okay, I'm not gonna lie. That actually kind of freaks me out a bit. <laughs> Cause that. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> well. Uh. Maybe I'll just, uh, <laughs> reset the thing and. Um, so somebody came out with a new bot? Yeah, um... Oh, what is their name? Give me a sec. Okay, there we go. I wonder if it's in here. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Um... I forget the name. Setri, um, someone on Twitch essentially made a new, uh, made a bot that bans all the host bots. So whenever there is, it basically, it'll make it easier on both of us because there was, um, I believe last, yeah, last stream had a lot of, uh, follow raids. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it, it wasn't too bad. I think they, I think for the first, if this is correct, 
Uh. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna just quickly go on to. Um, I'm like, damn it. Let me. Just quickly do that. Um, I need to go into my bookmarks for a sec. Yeah, here they are. It is uh, uh, S E R Y underscore bot. Um, hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then I can send. I can send it over. Um, cause it. Oh, it's easy to set up, and as far as I'm aware is doing I think I can I think I can share it to you on Twitter let me um let me do that cuz yeah um it was going around the um well a lot of um communities actually because it is awful I'll send that to you now and then <laughs> hopefully my um neck doesn't snap again uh, <laughs> although right now i just need to quickly reset but yeah so definitely send that to like everybody else who hasn't seen that yet because i think it's definitely a lifesaver I feel like a lot of people don't think uh, they found God, but like God found them, like when they were having bad times like you did, God never did. I was completely alone in the pantry, but a few years later, Greg did, so like, <laughs> oh right, Arthur, you missed like a good chunk. Um. So, uh, in the game, we're talking to Angus about his childhood, and it's very sad. Um, my neck broke partway through. <laughs> Don't know how that happened. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna clip, I'm gonna clip that, because that's both funny and hilarious. And, um, we were also talking about the, um, the new... A uh, Siri bot that helps block the hotspots, and now I'm a little nervous. Okay, no, we're fine. We're good. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was interesting. Uh, the stars can stay up there, uh, can stay up there and not give a shit about us. But this whale is pretty cool. You're an extremely good and smart person, Angus. I try. But I'm no more than anyone else. Yep. Yep. I should come out here more often. <laughs> yeah. Don't, uh, don't look at him. Who? Uh, there's someone standing behind us. That's not fucking creepy at all. In the trees. Holy shit. Holy shit. What do they look like? Tall, wearing some kind of weird coat. Um, like a utility coat or something. Hmm. Oh god. That's the ghost. I'm more worried about it being a living person. Standing in the woods, staring at us. Same. Oh god, oh god. Well, don't panic. Follow my lead. Hey there. Out for a hike? Nice night. He's not answering. That's a little hostile, right? It's definitely a little hostile. Hey! I know what you did. May? No. I saw you. Okay, we're gonna go and run now. Uh, we need to get to the car. But your asthma. 
I got an inhaler. The good kind, too. No one in heaven or earth can stop me. Okay, 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 let's go. Deep breaths. In. Out. All right. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I would be terrified as hell, too. I... Nope. Mm-mm. And it's following us. Awesome. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Not okay. Wheeze. Wheeze. You okay, big guy? Yeah, I'll be okay in a few minutes. I'm resilient. So, that was it? That was the ghost? Yeah. Oh. Ban them as fast as you can, or I guess as instantly, because it seems to do it pretty fast. Um, or geez, it was some weirdo who lives out there. They probably got lots of kids throwing parties back there. I mean, the party we went to where you threw up, uh, that wasn't too far from there. Yeah, right? Uh, why does nobody believe me? May, it's like... Every other explanation is more likely than ghost. Okay, fine, whatever. Sorry. Grouchy. Headache. That was scary. It's cool. It was... You dead. Hey, Dad. Hey, you. You okay? Yeah, weird night. You look really worn out. Yeah. Okay. Good talk, Dad. Alright. Hey, B, you awake? Uh, I very much am. Doing bills and eating uh, grilled cheese. Don't say that. Now I want that. No one, because they live out in the middle of nowhere. Not even the Ghostbusters want to come and see them. What's up? Uh, went to the park with Angus. How'd it go? It was fun until it was scary. How so? We totally saw the ghosts in the woods. Really? Angus saw this? He did. Wow, okay, hold on. I'm texting Angus. Why? Angus is an <laughs> annoyingly st uh, stringent atheist. He doesn't believe in ghosts. Why can't you just take my word for it? Hold on. He said it was probably a hunter. Ah, okay, whatever. Sorry for what it's worth. I, do n I don't not believe you. Thanks. You have a good time otherwise? Yeah, learned a lot about Angus. He's had kind of a hard life. Oh yeah, he definitely has. Wait, how do you know about this? Uh, because Angus and I have been friends since, like, 8th grade. <laughs> it was playing a most dangerous game. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You're not like... You're not like the glue holding all of us together. Angus kind of is. He's the common denominator. Me and Greg, uh... Me and Greg don't hang out. Hmm, Angus is good. He is. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Talk to you later. Hey, hey, hey. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, hey. Did you and Angus have a good time? Uh, did he not tell you about it? Uh, yeah, it was great until it was super scary. You guys saw a weird creepo, huh? Yeah. Um, it was the effing ghost again. Hold on. <laughs> ghost talk to Angus. Angus is thinking it was a hunter. Uh, buck season starts in like two days. Oh, what the hell? Put him on. KK. Hey, May, this is Angus. Dude, you saw him with your own eyes. I mean, we saw a guy who was being weird. But there are folks that live up in there in the park. And there are hunting camps and stuff. So it was most likely a guy hunting Buck early. Dude, I like, felt it. 
I know. I don't know what to say about that. I think all three of us were spooked. Okay, fine. Thanks for going and being brave and stuff. Anytime. I had fun. You can put Greg back on. I mean, at least they had fun. Hey, 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 dude. I'm an artiste. <sighs> were you doing art just now? Sure was. Alright, off to bed. Night, dude. Hey, May, this is Greg. You and Angus are talking on my computer. Oh, hey, I'm Angus, so smart and have great ass. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. You two are talking a lot. Hold on, I'm drawing him a dirty message in, in the paint program. <laughs> it's a dick with his hat on it and a smiley face. I don't know what it even means. Looks like you two are wrapping up. Peace out, yo. Hey, May, it's Angus. You and Greg are talking. I can attest that this picture is kind of, kind of baffling. Good night. Oh, I'd love to have a relationship like that someday. Just us being dinguses. Bedtime? Yee. Yeah. Uh, I'm not, I don't know if you'll miss anything important, unless my neck snaps again, but we'll see. Oh. Oh, it's dark. I don't know where to go. Hmm. Okay, I guess I have no choice but to run down here. What cosmic horror are we gonna see this time? Hello? Is that a cat? Can you talk? Yes. For some reason, you're the first thing here I've thought to talk to. Yeah, it's a cosmic cat. Are you God? No. Oh. So... Seconds ago, little creatures are coming, and they are asking if I am God, and I am asking where God is, and they are telling me, and I am not this God, and this God is nowhere. We well, can't see God. Well, that's where faith comes in, I guess? Little creatures are explaining faith, and moments ago is the beginning, and I am here, then, and here now. There is nowhere for God to be hiding. Hmm. So what am I doing here? Monstrous existence. No, I mean, what am I doing here? What are you? What are these other giant animals? Have I been seeing ghosts? Were there like... There were like bits of the world. I think I was on a train, but it was like a town. That's all. Ugh, I lost it. Okay, so, a great beast is walking through the sands, and they are climbing into the air, and now they are making a tear, a tear, a tear, and now they are gone, and now you are here, what, a tear, with their hooves, they are making a tear, Little creatures are wandering through the air. Okay. And they are dragging in places and echoes of lives. And they are asking me about God. 
And my head hurts. Same. I am going to tell you something, little creature. You are swimming further and further out to the sea. And beyond are things blind and terrible. And I am showing you now. What the fuck? Okay, what the fuck? Okay, what the fuck? Ah! Oh god, oh god. Alright, enter some Lovecraft shit. Uh, they are blind, but they are seeing you. And you are coming to them. After this, you are not returning here. That was a bit important. That, that was a bit important, yes. I'm climbing into the air and closing the sky. What? Closing the sky? Yes. Okay. I will tell you a second thing. There is a hole at the center of everything, and it is always growing. Between the stars, I am seeing it. It is coming, and you are not escaping, and the universe is forgetting you. I don't know how I feel about that sentence. Oh, and you're going to be forgotten, and there's nothing to remember it, not even the things beyond. And now there is only the hole. Uh, so does anything mean anything? This is not a question worth answering. Uh, what about my home? What about my friends? What about the trees in the fall? What about the leaf? What about my home and my friends? Soon they are dying. Soon they are rotting. You are atoms. And your atoms are not caring if you are existing. You are atoms our monstrous existence then why am i here god damn it why was i choosing to chosen to see all this where is this going little creature you are not chosen there is no one to choose you this is going nowhere we are not meeting again and the universe is forgetting you and i am remembering you but not because I am caring. The beginning is moments ago, and the end is moments away. There is no time to forget, before all is forgotten. Goodbye, little creature. Okay. Yeah. Y'all feeling like having existential dread tonight? God, I sure didn't think I would. And now we wake up in the middle of the day. Alright, who's online? Uh, away. Okay, cool. Hey, dude. Uh, at the old, uh, Salcon. Uh, come save me from boredom supreme. Sincerely, Gregory. Morning at the pickaxe if you're in for the town center today. I uh, don't even know why I'm saying this. You're in the town center every day. Anyway, see you later. Cool. <laughs> and now we have something a little more brighter along with our existential dread. Reality. <laughs> oh yeah. Can you say hi to the mom? Hello, mom. Hello, mother. <clears throat> Honey? You okay? Uh, mornings are tough right now. Are you pregnant? Are you pregnant? No. Oh, honey. Is that why you came home? No, not at all. Sweetie, you could tell me. I've been there. Uh, and despite nature's intentions, God came through and blessed us with you. <laughs> Yeah, you didn't expect to come in today being like, Hey, so, um, your atoms are monstrous, there's cosmic horror that doesn't care for your existence, and now you have to wake up in the morning forever for whatever it is you need to do today. Have fun with that. <laughs> and bless this with you. You are, you were a miracle, baby. That's me. A miracle. After all the miscarriages, we'd given up hope. And then, there you were. 
And here I am now. So, if you're pregnant, I'm not pregnant! <laughs> I was not in a situation where pregnancy happens. Okay, okay. I just want you to know that you can always come to us with this. Okay, noted. Can we talk about anything else? Sure. <laughs> you know, if you did have a ba- Okay. I'm out. <laughs> Okay, sweetie. I'm sorry. I get excited about grandbabies. That's fine. I'll be I'll be back later. You know what for you? For you that makes sense. Yeah, miscarriages you have a kid you kind of you kind of want that because you finally have it. That makes sense. Just don't pressure her too much. That's a little weird. Love you too. My favorite is when the message is like hypocritical and convoluted because it's like don't have kids but also we want you to have kids it's like what <laughs> let's see yep <laughs> i like how that's the little detail you took away wait they have a cat clock <laughs> There's a lot of weird things, uh, they have. Or, like, people have here in this game. Like, there was a stray cat. That wasn't talking or sentient. Like, it was an actual cat. So, like, essentially, they could be cats that own cats. But also... Those cats aren't sentient. But then there's like squirrels and mice. But they're not sentient? It, it's weird. It's weird. <laughs> May. Mr. Uh, Chazakov. Chazakov. Yeah. You look a bit worse uh, for wear today, May. Oh, I'm fine. I made it up here, didn't I? Watch yourself. Uh, lest you fall. Will do. Uh, here to see some stars? You know it. You know it. No. You know it. <laughs> Come have a look. <clears throat> ah! This is your own fault at this point, I would say. Okay, first of all, rude. Does May look like the brightest bulb in the bunch? No. Now I have to figure out where, uh... Nope. This one. Oh, no, it's, uh... This one. I think I got one? Let us see. Cole, the mountaineer. Cole. Knew a guy named Cole once. That's close. It is. So what's up with this guy? Uh, Cole's from a flat land. In this Midwest? Whatever the Midwest of whatever he was, what, uh, from was. Every place has a Midwest. This is true. He dreamed of mountains and devoted his life to climbing them. Because his hometown was was flat isn't this a common instinct to seek that which is unlike where one grows up eh, fair enough I mean people go to the city a lot like they move there because it's got stuff and there's more people like them maybe sucks though not everyone can just up and leave <clears throat> When I left my country, I felt the same thing. But I have not regretted it. You like Possum Springs. It is beautiful in ways perhaps invisible to those who have seen it every day of their lives. So what happened to Cole? He returned home and complained that the sky felt heavy. He had been up into the clouds and now they rested hard upon him. That is a really, sp really specific complaint. 
When one leaves a place, one brings something back when one returns. One. One. Hmm. Now to find the next one, which you... Oh. There we go. Gotcha. <clears throat> Ooh, which one is this? <clears throat> Out of Austria, I think. You know this one? Yes, I know this one. It is a common story. How Adina journeyed from the, uh, to the frozen lake, how she traversed unknown far, uh, faraway lands. I was very into Adina's stories when I was a kid. So you must know what became of her. Yeah. Wow, how she, in her quest, turned her back on the sky and journeyed down into the earth, where her stars were no longer over her head, and how she was never seen again. Yeah. Whatever. Is that not a sad ending? I mean, yeah, she probably died. No, disappearing isn't the same as dying. Yeah, I mean, she probably died. She lived well. She did many amazing things. It is not sad to die having done so much. I guess. Still sucks dying. It is a shame. Oof, that's all for today. That was nice. It was. I like going to this guy. Pretty sweet, the stars, I mean. I'm in an agreement. Plane, plane. Like, as far as I'm aware, it hasn't, like, none of those awful bots have shown up, which is nice. Which is beautiful. <laughs> and also, the person who made it... Oh. I hope they get everything they deserve in life and then some, because... They... They are a blessing. <laughs> they are a blessing. <laughs> Alright, I wanna hang out with Greg. Greg! Greg! <laughs> Greg! Sup, duder? Hey! How are you holding up? Surviving. Uh, had the weirdest dream last night. Really? Oh my god, I saw some space bugs. Yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely do that. <laughs> That's good. And it was, yeah, like I said, or, and it was super easy, which is nice. Love it when it's super easy. Um, I met God. Jeez. And they were kind of an asshole. <laughs> huh. Yep, yeah, that's how my week is going. Right? Like... It took this person, what, like, a week to do this? Or maybe, I don't know, could be more, could be less. And they did, and it's already doing a better job than what most of the moderator tools do. Like, what the fuck? Yep, that's how my week is going. Can I offer you a complimentary slushie? To replace the idea of a caring god? I can throw in some chips. Alright, <laughs> I'm good. So, what's up? And just checking in. You wanna hang out? Uh, got date night stuff with Angus. Cool, cool. I'ma hit up B. <laughs> hit her the F up. Okay, so I have no choice then. Is the video spot?
Oh, wait. I just passed it. Same? I'm like, why did you- why did she pass that up? Those are free. You, you take those. <laughs> hey, B. Hey. You alright? You seem down. Right? If somebody did that for me, I'd be like, hell yeah. I knew somebody who worked at an ice cream shop and they would give- And whenever I came to visit them, they'd be like, yeah, make you some free ice cream. I'm like, hell yeah. Oh, it's nothing. Uh, stuff. You wanna talk about it? Nah. Okay. Ooh, what are you up to today? Wandering around town. Whatever you wanna do today. Cause I wanna go. Uh, so what kind of party is this? Um, a Jackie party? What's a Jackie party? You remember Jackie? Yeah, she hates me. Yeah, she's intense. Yeah, she hates me. Oh, that was years ago. Uh-huh. Didn't Jackie have, like, a one-woman band? Yep. Uh, trans world order, uh, give them hell. T-W-T-W-G-T-H? Yep, yeah, it's actually really great. She's got a great scream. Ooh. Ooh, I love me, me my heavy, heavy metal girls. I'm so old. To goth. <laughs> to goth. Hey, B, say it. Say to, to goth. To goth. To goth. To good. <laughs> anyway. This is a party. And Jackie invited me. Look at you. All going... All going to secret parties and shit. They're not secret, May. Well, I wasn't invited. Okay, I invited you, and now you're invited. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, we got like a 90 minute drive ahead, so... Jeez, this better be some party. Jackie parties are worth the trip. I think I went here once. In Girl Scouts. To see some sort of uh, longest night play. Yeah, I was there. Oh yeah, we were kind of stuck together back then. Why'd well, you start talking to me? Uh, what was even that play? Why'd you start talking to me? I was new in town. And you seem cool. That's it? You were smart and fun and the biggest regret of my life. Anyway, <laughs> what am I now? Mmm, you know? Fun. That's, uh, it's like super shitty that you keep saying I'm not smart. I'm sorry, I'm mostly kidding. Mostly. Mostly. <laughs> You're not smart either. I was valedictorian of our class. Like, that means anything in the real world. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, let's go. I'm kind of nervous about this. Stay close, alright? Nothing to be scared about, just down there... Um, to be scared about down there, just a party. Mm -hmm. Not too late to uh, throw ourselves into traffic instead. Hey, Jackie. <laughs> hey, B. Oh, weird, it's May. Hey, Jackie. You brought May. Yeah, is that okay? Sure, it'll be fun. Come on, it's a good one. Is there, like, dancing and stuff? The world is ending, May. Of course, there's dancing. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Alright. That's why you gotta take it seriously. Put your foot down. No fascists at this party. <laughs> right. Yeah. You don't talk this shit out. You punch that shit out. You know? Do you think that's best? Huh, yeah. Carry a knife and learn to throw a punch. We can't have no nonsense of humor about this shit. Mace works too. Mace against fascist. <laughs> hey. Hey, this is May. 
Hey, May. Yep, that's May. So, where are you guys from? Suburban Bright Harbor? A uh, couple of born and bred harbor rats. <laughs> wow, what are you doing out here? Long story for both of us. I got time. Hold up. We're gonna go yell at the DJ real quick. You know him. He's a total dink. Okay, I'll be here. Bye, boys. They seem nice. This is very cool. No drinking, May. Okay, fine. You guys wanna dance? Yeah. Can you dance, May? Uh, can, like, anyone here dance? Please don't be a rhythm game. Please don't be a rhythm game. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Hey, I think those guys are back over there. Oh, yeah. Should we go talk to them? Yeah, we should. I can dance? I never knew. I'm gonna keep dancing. Um, are you sure? Yeah, I don't think I've ever danced at a party before. Okay, we'll be back, uh, we'll be like 10 feet away with an eye shot. And I'll watch you. Don't drink anything somebody gives you. B, I know. No, seriously, if any- B? I'll be fine. Let's go. She'll be fine. Okay, okay. Not sure how long I'm supposed to be doing this, but I can't move, so. Dancing is easy. What's the big fuss? Hey, friends, where are you? Hey, B. Oh, hey, May. This is, uh, Chris. Hey, Chris. Hey. Your friend B is pretty cool. No, oh, she's okay. <laughs> You're laughing a lot. <laughs> Beatrice. That's like an old name. Like a book you read in second grade. Uh, well, a book you liked? I like ghost stories. I used to be a bigger... I like ghost stories. My grandpa died and left me an apple crate full. <laughs> Sorry about your granddad. It's okay, it was years ago. B's mom is dead. May, May, <laughs> make, May stop. I'm sure everyone here knows someone who died. My mom died. My dog died. Oh god, <laughs> when my house exploded because there was a gas leak from when my dad hit a line, trying to dig up the dog we had before that because we were going to move, and Dad said he had to come with us. What the fuck? Wow. So, Chris, what are you majoring in? Pol- Okay. poli -sci. Oh, that's cool. There are a lot of jobs in that. I don't know. Mmm. I just find it interesting. I feel like you have to be pretty materialistic to go to college just so you can get a job after. That's interesting because- Oh, uh, whoa, whoa. Check out the rich kid over here. Gonna pay zillions of dollars to go to college. Just cause something's interesting? B, 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 check this dude out. You ever worked a day in your life, Chaz? I interned at my uncle's firm, yes. Well, I begged groceries. Okay. Uh, May, do you want to dance some more? Nah, I'm good. You sure you don't want to go dance? 
Yeah, my parents own their own businesses, so... Oh, tell me about it. I know a bunch... I know a bit about running a small business. Want to go across the street and get some pizza? I could eat, and it's a small business. <laughs> you, you'll you speak their language. Get us free slices. B doesn't like spoiled rich kids, Chuck. Uh, I'll come along too, if that's okay, B. Yeah, sure, let's go. Okay. B knows all about business. Hey, Cody, um, let me tell you about B... You know what? She knows all about business. She's super on top of things. Super smart and responsible. She runs, like, the biggest store in Possum Springs. Uh, May, no. What even is Possum Springs? In the west, in the mountains. Well, rich kid over here is studying politicians or whatever. Uh, bees out in the real world. Not like you college kids. May. What? Uh, I'm kind of over the whole college thing myself. B and I basically run Possum Springs. Except there's, like, a ghost or something. You two live in Possum Springs. Yeah, got a problem with that? Wow, you drove all the way here from Deep Hollow Country? Isn't that, like, two hours away? No, I, uh... Why would you do that? Hey, Rick, B here drove in from Deep Hollow. Are you not a student? Yeah? What? Yeah, I am. I'm- haha. <laughs> B, wait. What was that about? I think she doesn't go here, so? Dude, I don't even know. They screwed up. What did you do? I was gonna ask the same thing. How in the world did you mess that up? She needs this. She... Uh, now she's God knows where. If something happens to her, I will personally punch your teeth out. Okay, jeez. Alright, I'm gonna go up the street. You're gonna go down towards the river. Uh, we find her, make sure she's okay, and meet back here. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Back in school, I always told B that you were an asshole. And I really thought that was true. And it's good to know I was right. Jeez. Okay, okay, okay. Where are you, B? The roofs. Uh, can't get to the river quick on the roof. Can? I can? Hey, move. What? Move it, goth dorks. No. I need to get up to the roof. You are not jumping on my car. I will end your I will end you right here in this pizza place parking lot. You cool down. You F off. Don't tell me to F off. Don't tell me to cool down. Get away from my damn car. If you don't get away from your damn car, I'm gonna run it over your damn head. Can you even drive? Wanna find out, citizen? I'm gonna call the cops. If you don't move, right now, I'm gonna probably make you eat this entire car, and I can do it. I'd like to see you try. Last person I hurt? Physically? I hurt him very, very badly. Physically. Seriously, I'm about to... You're about to what? You know what? I don't have time for this. No, you don't. Move. Hope you break your spine. Yep. Okay. B, where are you? B, I'm so wait, what? Oh, I'm guessing I have to go in here? Yeah. Eh. My fingers, why you'd like this? Okay. <sighs> Why is it like this? Okay, there we go. I wonder if I can die if I accidentally, um, if 
fall off? Probably. Oh. Um. I don't know if that was something I was supposed to do. Okay, I need to head to the river and I have no idea where I'm going. Oh. Never mind, there she is. B. There you are. Are you alright? Why did you run? That's like extremely dangerous. You're alone in some college town and you don't even know what- This was my party. These are my parties. I come to these so I can feel normal. For like two hours a month. This is normal? You could have been mugged or something. This is a normal? This is a bunch of dorks in a basement. College is stupid anyway. Oh my god, you complete asshole. You will never understand this. Ever. You know what I do when I go to sleep? <sighs> this is so freaking sad. I like obsessively... I think like obsessively about going to college. Like really, really think hard about it. And if I'm lucky as I fall asleep, I dream about it. I have to dream about this. This thing you're so over already is like my wildest fantasy. You have a life. No, I don't. I have obligations. I have a routine. When my mom died, my life ended too. I had to take over the business. I have to like constantly check to make sure my neck isn't snapping. <laughs> I had to take over the business because dad had a complete breakdown and the bills from my mom literally dying were so bad that we lost the house. The house I grew up in, gone. Some shitty family with their shitty kids live there now. Now we live in an apartment and my dad wastes away and like any idea I had for the future, this big bright thing just get smaller and darker every time I wake up from a dream about nights like tonight and you can't get that through your thick fucking skull. I had no idea about any of this. How? How could you not know this? I work hard and I take care of what's left of my family and my life is slipping away and I'm trapped in a stupid hardware store. Is that in that stupid town? I'm just doomed. You're not the only person stuck here, you know. You gave up the thing I can't have. I kinda hate you. I cannot, I can't, I can't not hate you for that. A little. I don't know anything about it. You don't know why I had to leave. Oh, I'm sure it's a brilliant reason. You just sit there judging me. Have you ever asked why I left? Yeah, first day you're back. Oh, right. So why did you leave? I don't know. My head is in pieces right now. Any answer I could give would sound nuts. Oh, well that's illuminating. Oh, shut up. All this shit going on this past week, ghosts and shit, I met God. He was an asshole. Uh-huh. Ugh. Look. We're both trapped. But we're trapped together. Mm. Ever, uh, better to be trapped with someone else, right? Mm. Listen, I'm sorry. About, like, it's okay. We're like, the best available friends. <laughs> oh god. What river is this? Breadwinder. All the iron in the water uh, turns a rock orange. Must be weird for them. Uh, all the rocks on land get to keep their colors. <clears throat> and the river rocks are always looking up at, at them. Hmm. So like, actual question. Do you think we'd be friends if we weren't like Stuck together in the same town? 
like we were stuck together in Girl Scouts? Like, um, is this just, what's the word? Proximity? Yeah. I don't know. I honestly don't. My entire life feels like running after something that keeps moving away into the distance while I stay in the same place. And I guess proximity counts for a lot right now. Mm. Proximity. Do you want to go back to the party? Nah. We can come to another one sometime. I'll learn to talk good to whatever guy you're obviously trying to get with. Oh good, thanks. Be you should have told me about everything. I was embarrassed. My entire life is embarrassing. <laughs> I have been doing... I've been doing good. <laughs> been planning stuff for um, October because it's spooky month and I want to do a lot of things for spooky month. <laughs> uh, other than that, just, you know, normal life stuff. Entirely embarrassing. B, I am like more embarrassing than you will ever be. You are like stronger and smarter than anyone I've ever met. Thanks. You are not as big as a total idiot I act as I act like you are. I'm a jerk sometimes, and I know that. But you're a genuinely good person. I'll take it. You know what the Fort Lucene uh, fish fountain would say? What? Beatrice Santinello. We should get burgers and shakes on the way home. Oh wow, a revelation from God. The good God, the fake one. <laughs> okay, you, let's go home. Home again, home again. Hello, Father. Hi, hello. Oh wow, are you okay? No. Okay, so what's going on? I don't think I can talk about it. Are you gonna have to start talk- You're gonna have to start talking sometime, kitten. I wish I could. Why can't you? Don't even know. Where to even start? It's just... I've been having these dreams and I keep thinking I see ghosts. A ghost? And I've had these horrible nightmares. that feel really real and I think something really bad is going to happen and I've been running around doing all this stupid stuff and where's it all going what even is my life right now I think I patched uh, up some stuff tonight but like everyone is on their way somewhere else and I had that big fight with mom kitten it's okay and 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 Shh, kitten. Take a deep breath. Okay, okay, okay. Why don't you get some sleep? Mm -hmm. Can I just stay down here for a bit? As long as you like. Malloy? Garbo. Ever think about, you know, the afterlife? I don't have a life as it is. <laughs> Why, Garbo, do you think there's something up there watching? Hey, I just hope anyone's watching at this time slot. These are the big questions, Garbo. Don't get any bigger, Malloy. Are you a churchgoer, Garbo? Hey, the last time I was in church, they hadn't invented religion yet. <laughs> Jesus. You were making it up as we went along. Okay, so we all think that there's a god, right? We should have potlucks. Can't have a church without potlucks. You could, Malloy, but it would be a whopper. What is he even... Come 
coming up next, Garbo and I contact the dead. <sighs> okay. <laughs> uh, okay, guess we can go to bed now. Neat. Well, I wanted to get on the coffee table, but okay. Friends? Friends? Hey you. Hey me. I am so tired from tonight. I bet. Did you run all the way to the river? Yeah, on the roofs and stuff. That and dancing really took- really take a lot out of you. That's like really- that's really nice, May. That you did that. Well, I was nothing. Go get some sleep. Okay, I'll do that. Thanks for running after me. Oh, I never go... Oh, I never go anyway. You'll never be rid of me. I can't think of worse fate. I can think of worse fates. Meh. Hey, kid. Went to a party. Danced at a party. Ran around in the rain. Wow, sounds like an awesome night. It was a mixed bag. Uh, but all in all, I'd party again. We need to do- we need to do more parties. You are very right. Alright, I'm off to bed. Laters. <clears throat> Bedtime? Yee. <Yeah. laughs> Oh god, more dreams. <laughs> it, honestly, I don't like doing phone calls either. It's just... If I can avoid them, I'll avoid them. If I can email somebody, I'll do it. In a heartbeat. <laughs> Alright. Who is online? Hello, friend. Hello, May. Pickaxe at it me. You know the drill. Okay. Um. Eh. Hey, kid. Snack falconing. Work, work, work. Till I die, die, die. And then his away message. Oh. Pick your fight. Give your arrows flight. You mess with me. You mess with all of us. Going to see the blank tones next weekend. Oh. Oh. Ah, uh, yeah, that makes sense. Arthur, do the assignments! God damn it! <laughs> Good morning! Uh, there's my little sunshine daisy. Are you feeling any better from the other day? Sleeping a lot, but feeling worse? Okay, well, I'm going to make you an appointment with Dr. Hank. Oh, jeez, Mom, it's fine. It, it is very much not fine, hon. I'm an adult. I can make that decision. When you're here, you're still my baby. And I'm making you an appointment. May, hon? I'm worried about you. I'm okay, Mom. Why, why are you taking the class, then? <laughs> I'm okay, Mom. Okay, I'm gonna go. You sure you don't want to stay home and rest? Nah, got stuff to do. What is it that you have to do? I don't even know, honestly. Oh, hon. Please take it easy. I will. Love you. Love you, too. I think I have to wait a few days. Ah, uh, that's fair. Honestly, I definitely wish I could do that. And just not have to worry about the financial burden of it. <laughs> May, get down from the power line. Eh? Oh. Oh god. What do you want? Hello to you too, May. Well. 
I wanted to let you know. We ran a test on that arm you guys found a few days back. Oh, really? Yeah, I thought you'd be interested in all. Oh, definitely. Arm belonged to a middle-aged man. Uh, medium build, and he was dead when it was removed. Whoa. That means... It doesn't mean anything yet. I just thought you'd like to know. You always liked detective stories when you were a kid. Okay, yeah, thanks. Oh, okay. Ooh, that's cool then. I just... We're just... Weird that they have points and stuff. Yeah, remember? The arm we found last time? Yeah, so it turns out the guy's dead, obviously. Uh, but he was dead when the arm was removed, so he didn't feel it getting removed. Uh, this ghost is seriously messed up. Ghost? There wasn't no ghost involved in whatever this was. Yeah, yeah, nobody believes me. I get it. Be careful, May. Strange stuff going on. Yeah, you're telling me. Have a nice evening, May. Okay, bye. Oh, wait, Selmers, hey. Hello. Hey, Selmers. Jeez, May, are you sick? Nah. Just tired, got a headache. Why are you out running around? I'll get over it. Yeesh. Take it easy, neighbor. Can do. Want to hear a new poem? Sure. Uh. The stars, the stars, like lights on cars, drive across the dark and never park. It's true, they are like that. <laughs> I got rent. I got one ready for the longest night. Oh? The longest night. Longest night. Night so dark, but starts- but stars so bright. Nice. Thanks. I'm feeling festive. Cool. Hey, eh. I was gonna be like, hey, is your neighbor up? Hey. Okay, no, he's not. Hopefully this time, I can go and chill with Greg. Yes, please. Okay, but like, see? That's a- that is a pet cat. I am an actual cat. Also kinda looks like Luna. But yeah. Like, what? <laughs> we'll chill with B later. I haven't hung out with Greg in a while. Greg! Greg! <laughs> I could be that cat. <laughs> I mean... I could basically act like a giant house cat and there'd be no different. There'd be no difference. Hey, man. Hey. Uh, how you holding up? Got a splitting headache. Feel like I barely slept. Even though I've slept a lot. Jeez, you okay? I don't know. Can I do anything? Kill me? Wake me up somehow? I like this one. <laughs> Bang. I shot you. Thanks. So, what are you up to today? You wanna uh, check out the historical society? Are you sure? You seem like really tired. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do it. Actually, even that character, it could be her in the window. Show me the cool building. Sorry, we crashed. It's okay. What? Is your bike okay? Yeah, I can fix it. I'm handy. It's too bad you didn't get run over. And it's too bad you didn't crash into a train. It's too bad your corpse didn't get eaten by scavengers. It's too bad you didn't get eaten by scavengers alive. <laughs> so that's it, huh? Mm-hmm. Never been out here before. Me either. Oh, uh, I thought you had a plan. Who needs a plan? We're just breaking into an old house. Crimes. Yep. Looks kinda, um... 
Exactly like a haunted house? Yeah. Not like the one in that old movie. Like the one in that cover the one in the cover of the book. Haunting of Arbor Street. <laughs> we have an Arbor Street. Yeah, books spooked me pretty good as a kid. Big evil house. Uh, this place looks exactly like it. Well, you're looking for a ghost, right? I think it might actually... I think it might be looking for me, actually. Oh, yeah, the other night. Yeah. Well, whoever it is, uh, maybe we'll get some info here. It's not like a person, dude. It's a ghost. Huh. Right, well... Let's go find us a ghost. Ghosty goo. Greg? Hey, where are you? Over here. Greg. Greg. Aw, yeah. Found the basement doors. Th what? The yelling. What are you talk? Why are you talking like that? If you say they, uh, th in, please don't do this to me. If they say this instead of it harder, or someone, um, for example, a ghost. Jesus, I hate this. To hear that you're speaking, I have no idea what you're saying. Okay, we're trying to, we're trying to be, oh, stealthy, right? Okay, I get what you're saying. Thank you. I am not going to do that. Neither am I, okay? We're fine. Nobody's here. No lights on. The doors are locked. So how are we going to do this? Are you going to hold a flashlight? He's going to lock pick? Yep. Pick the locks. You could pick locks. I forgot. Yeah, dude. This is kind of awesome. It sure is. Crimes, dude. Crimes, dude. Hey, you want to shine that light down here? Cool, thanks. Oh my god, what was that? Nothing. Uh-huh. Uh, more light, please. There's something in the trees, and I'm not okay with this. Hey, yo. What the fuck? Okay, there's something up there. Told you. Alright, let's finish this. Also, watch my back. I basically do both. Hey, you up there. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah. Well, whatever that was, definitely sure tried to. Friggin' owl. You okay? I think so. That was super dangerous. I don't know owls attack like that. What was his effing deal? So, we're in the basement. Uh, what are we actually looking for, by the way? The thing I read says something that sometimes when someone stays late, they hear weird things. Is something called, in something called the map room. And in some off-limits area. Technically, all of this is an off-limits area right now. True, dude, true. So do like I go in here? Actually, I don't. Oh, dude, is this like two elevators and not like old ones? Locked too. Jeez, maybe this place is all elevators. Weird. Why would you have two? One for the ghosts, one for the normies. 
I mean, this is a crime. We're not stealing, though. But we did break an entry. Private rooftop ghost party. Oh, what a ghost pool. With a ghost pool. I hope you get squished by the elevator. And I hope your head gets stuck in the door. And it gets chopped off. I hope you fall down the elevator shaft. I hope you get trapped in a dark elevator. Flipped with wa uh, filled with water and an angry shark. Holy crap, dude. That's... <sighs> Alright, my guy. Up we go. Okay. Here we go. It looks pretty empty. And dark. Hey, where's the flashlight? Crap. I left it outside. Dude. We, you were being attacked by an owl. Alright, well. I can see okay. Me too. Let's look around. I mean, both of you are nocturnal, technically. Check it out. Elevator number three. Looks like it's not locked either. Elevators for miles, dude. Yeah, this is weird. Let's just not do that. <laughs> Closed for insurance purposes. Oh, stairs are not for climbing. These stairs are original to the house and are not functional at this time. What the hell is not functioning stairs? So are we supposed to, like, levitate? Uh, huh. Well, I guess this is open, so, you know, whatever. <laughs> hmm. Are you gonna go? Are you gonna go? Why do I have to go first? It's your ghost. I mean, I guess, I guess they would be extreme. Yeah. <laughs> A little bit of an oxymoron, if anything. It's your ghost. Okay, fine. Um, it's not even real. What? Dude. Hmm. What the hell was that? I don't know. Is someone here? No lights, uh... No, lights off, doors locked, no cars outside. Okay, so, do you want to go back? Do you have your knife? No. Do you have your knife? Yeah. Okay. Wait, is the assumption that I'm gonna stab someone? Yeah, right? I mean, we do have a knife, though, so we should be okay. We have a weapon, at least. Is that the plan now? No, I mean, just in case. I mean, the basement door locked behind us. Oh, right. Crap. Uh, gonna have to find another way out, too. Hold on, let me add that to the list. Map room, forbidden zone, find a way out. Yeah, they didn't stop the owl. <laughs> this is complicated. Crimes. Crimes. I like how they're just like, yep, crimes. So was it in here? Oh, hey. Possum Massacre. Oh, nice. You remember this, right? Uh, not super well. Yeah, there was a big explosion at one of the old mines, and it could have been avoided or something. And then the miners went on strike because they were getting screwed and killed. And, like, it went on a while, and the other mines and places joined up. Like, to be like, you've messed with all of us. That's awesome. Yeah, the bosses and the governor... They sent, like, soldiers and stuff because they're assholes. And some kid or something threw a rock at one of them. And the soldiers opened fire. Holy crap. Where did this happen? Northwest end of town? There's, like, a marker for it. Ah, oh, that's awful. Bosses are bad. Bosses are bad. Weird how, like, we're all supposed to look up to, like, bosses. Just in general. Like... Even bad ones. Yeah, I refuse. Extremely ditto. Agreed. Okay, well, nothing weird here. Educational, even. 
I feel like we're getting smarter. My brain is too huge for this as it is, dude. I'm gonna pop. If that happens, I'm leaving your headless corpse here. <laughs> They'll be so freaked out in the morning. Nice. Oh, Ronald, I'm going to open this room for the day. Ah! I say, this chap's brain appears to have burst. Bring the mop, won't you, Ronald? Isn't, like, the first rule when you find a body is to call the police? <laughs> Holy crap, is this elevator number four? How? Why? Granddad would be complaining about the local tax dollars right now. Ah. That is not cool. Maybe it's, like, someone left a phone up there and it's, um, probably that. Probably. Probably. Crimes. Crimes. I like how this is their way of reassuring each other. Like, it's okay. Crimes. Crimes. Uh, going up. Although I am kind of curious of where it would to go down. You're kidding me. Elevator number five. Hmm. Locked. I think this is as high as we're going without uh, picking some locks, so... Ah, oh, crap. You're kidding me. Drop the lockpick stuff out back. You're kidding me. I was being attacked by an owl. Okay. Sorry. Can you, like, improvise? Uh, need some pliers. And you got a paperclip? Uh, no. Who's walking around on Earth today carrying a paperclip? Yeah, maybe it's the elevator store. Nobody. So, like, okay. Just, so I got this straight now shoot map room forbidden zone find a way out find pliers find a paper clip i think that's it i think you'd be able to find a paper clip in here though uh this is so stupid this is like work this is all work i crimes did you hear that yeah didn't sound like anything uh yeah i know what it was well let's hurry up let's get the hell out of here Okay, this is the only one here. Oh. Oh, hey, it's my neighborhood. And the highway. Nope, no ham panther, though. It must be old. Oh, wait. We're in the map room. Well, let's be extra careful. Okay. Crimes. Crimes. Hey, there's a graveyard. And the building we're in right now. Spooky. Like we're being watched. Crimes. Crimes? Crimes. <laughs> hey, it's my neighborhood. It's like, um... Like the fault in our stars. Like, okay. Okay. Crimes? Crimes. <laughs> wow, there's a tiny... There's a tiny you in there, I bet. Whoa, that's... Sorry, that like made me dizzy. I'm dangerous. <laughs> I'm in danger. Good old towny century. Town center, the center of our town. Quite. I think that's the old food donkey. And the woods uh, your ghost guy ran into. Yep. He sure gets around uh, for a dead guy. That he does. Oh, that is cute. A little weird, but still pretty cute. That creepy noise again. In this room. Uh... Oh. oh, it's alive. Jeez, that thing's ugly. Well, this was the source of the noise, I guess. Mystery solved. Wait, no. If it was making that noise, that means that someone was in here while we were walking around. Oh, shit. 
Yeah, let's maybe go. No, we have to find stuff. Oh, stuff? Dude, we're gonna get tasered or something. By a big, bulking, uh, historical society employee? Employee? <laughs> Whatever, I'm blaming you if this goes bad. Fine. Fine. I'm sorry, dude. Me too. I'd never turn you in. Me either. Crimes? Crimes. <laughs> Crimes? Crimes. Hey, check it out. Toolbox. Repair guy must have left it for the night halfway through fixing him. Oh, hey, some pliers. Cool, cool, cool. I was thinking we'd never find them and just, like, starve in here? Hmm. There'd be people here in the morning. Oh, right. So, we need a paperclip. I'm sure there's a paperclip somewhere in this place. They probably have, like, an office or something? Probably with, like, nine elevators in it. <laughs> Wait, what's over here? Okay, there was nothing. Hi, cat. What do you want, cat? You're chirping. Aw, thanks for the kiss. I appreciate it. Well, now I have to take a look to see if there is anything. If there's any paper clips. Actually, I think it'd be easier just to find an office. I could see if that other elevator goes down further. Going down. Since I don't know where it goes. Oh, oh. Oh, hey, look at that. Other people go on weird ghost hunting adventures, and they're looking for, like, cool shit. Okay, well, uh, let's find a paper clip. Picture of a dang hound dog. A uh, big ass stapler. A uh, picture of some dang kids. Found one. Alright, so we got the stuff. Let's get to the elevator, open, uh, and see what's upstairs. Okay, I guess it's like 12 more elevators. <laughs> I actually could see that. We need to go up. Alright, we ready to go? Yep, for sure. Gonna get to work. I'm gonna, like, break out of... I'm gonna break out of the country jail someday. With these skills. Dude, what are you going to jail for? Probably something like this, honestly. Probably, like, breaking and entering. Uh, dude, you need to hurry. What? Someone's coming. They're in the hallway downstairs. Crap, okay. Um, I'll have it done in... Oh, God. Uh, dude, the elevator? Shit. Shit. Hurry. There, I got it. Go. Where the hell are we going? Holy shit, are we in the basement? Oh, okay. Hey, that's where that elevator goes. This elevator? Yeah, so... That doesn't make a lot of sense. Maybe, like, the elevator is for loading things for the map room? That, like, they use the other one to avoid the stairs? But even then... Dude, none of this makes sense. It doesn't look like whatever that is is following us is down here. Whatever, not whoever. Whoever. Are you coming around on the ghost thing? Ghosts don't use elevators. Why? So a ghost can walk up the stairs or something? But elevators are out of the question? Hmm. So the question I have is, where does that one go? Same. Okay. Crimes? Crimes. Just gotta take a pic in the dark. Jeez, sorry. It's cool, I... Shit. 
I'm gonna keep picking. You see if we can get out through the back. Oh yeah, okay. Stuck. We are so screwed. I'm working, I'm working. Uh, it's locked, something locked it. Someone. Can we go back upstairs? Actually, no, we're just gonna get chased around in a circle by whatever it is, whoever it is. Dude. And got it. We don't even know where this is gonna go. Got any better ideas? Dude, clearly I don't. This isn't horrifying at all. They have an elevator that goes from the basement to the attic with no stops in between. What the fuck? What the actual crap? Quick, let's find a way out. I found a window. I think there's a fire escape. Window doesn't open though. What? Uh, oh my god. What is this place? Forbidden zone? We ha now we have Cosmic Goat. Are they like a weird art museum? This is bad art. This is weird. It's art, dude. It's a cult. What the? No, this is familiar. How do I know this? Shit, dude. The elevator. Why do I know this painting? Dude, come on. The elevator's coming back up. Now we have another horrifying nightmare to deal with. Hurry. Part of me is like, can I just- oh. Oh no. Greg! Where'd you go? Uh, the steps just end. You gotta jump. Ow. You could've caught her! Right? You believe me now? I believe we almost got caught by a security guard or something. No, I'm telling you, I can, like, feel it. Okay, fine. Ghost. Ghost. Security guard. Sorry about all this. You crashed your bike. Got mauled by an owl. Broke through a window. And jumped off a fire escape. Nah, dude. Wasn't nothing. You're a really good friend, Greg. Psh. Crimes. Crimes. And we're dead. <laughs> ah. Dude, what's wrong? Mm. Mm. Do talk to me. In my head. We need to talk to everyone tonight. Okay, okay. Uh, you can get on the bike? Think so? Okay. Grab on to me and I'll get us home quick. What about the ghost? Ain't no ghost here. Let's go. Thanks for, like, coming. Again? We live here. <laughs> yeah, you're in my living room. I'll accept the thanks. <laughs> so, like, do you have any idea what's going on? Uh, there's a ghost that's in my head. There's a ghost following me. I have no idea. A ghost following me. It likes to keep showing up when we go out to investigate it. Or all of those times it could have just been a random person. No, I can like feel it in my head. Why do you think I freaked out earlier? I know you guys don't believe me. 
it's not that I don't believe that something's happening with you. I just don't know that it's a ghost. Yeah, dude. There are like 50 better explanations for all this. Like what? You have like sudden stress migraines. You saw something that freaked you out and makes you stressed out. I get migraines. And May, you've gone through a lot of life changes recently. And I don't know, stress does weird things to people. Okay, fine, fine, whatever. I'm going up into the woods. I know this thing is up there. I know what I saw. And if you don't believe me, that's fine. I'll go alone. You really gonna hike up past the basketball court? It's late, dude. What, what do you all care? You don't believe me anyway. I'll go. Hmm? Listen, I don't believe in ghosts. But I believe in you. Nah, dude. So let's go find your ghost. I was fixing to say something like that. But you said it better. Aw, you guys. It's not even ghost hunting season. Yeah, it's Buck. <laughs> We're outlaws. Thank you for believing me. Mostly, I just don't want you wandering around up there. Alone. At night. Close enough. Alright. Let's hunt some ghosts. We're gonna have a night in the woods. Hell yeah. Haven't been on a hike in a long time. Gotta listen for owls. Why? No reason. <laughs> Greg mentally scarred at this point by a fucking owl. Alright. I gotta work in the morning. Let's catch us a ghost. I can't even jump. Wow, how have I never been back up here? Fences work? Nah, people are up here all the time. I came here when I was like 12. No worries. <laughs> What's up here? Uh, just an old junk, just old junk trees and animals. What is a bee? Nothing. Nothing? <laughs> May go ahead of me. I was praying. Wow. Really? Yeah, let's go. Praying to who? Like, Anubis? Because you have the uh, life symbol? Because that would make sense. Wait. What? I think I heard an owl. Oh, hon. Greg got attacked by an owl bee. What? When? When we were breaking into the history place. I didn't think they attack a group. Um, a group's a bug. Well, if I get mauled to death, I warned you all. I'll punch any owl that gets near you. No, thanks, Captain. Uh, big dangerous Greg, scared of birds. I almost died from that owl. He's, <laughs> he's fine. What a sweetie. Wow. Gotta pull up all this stuff somewhere, I guess. Remember this from when you were 12, Greg? Yeah, I was scared of it. How'd they even get all this back up in here? What's up? Nothing. Just like, all this old, old stuff out here. It's here every night when you go to sleep. So, it's out here in the dark. So so, 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 so old. <laughs> what does she have against that? Dude, hey, May. She's just like, nah. I'm fine. Ooh, we should go back. This is stupid. Hey, Lep, how's it going? No, it's fine. Ghost hunt. Whew, fun. What the? Huh? Oh my god. Oh look, a cult. No, no. 
Aw, oh, hell, he's awake already? Anyone got any juice? No, no, guys. Hey! Always good to have a day off. Aw, <laughs> oh, hell. Guys, guys, wait. Lur, you knew this was gonna happen. You knew it the moment you screwed this whole thing up. It ain't like you weren't on the other side of the of this before. Yeah, right. Here's the cult. Loki kind of called it, but also like, what the fuck? It was a mistake. I owned up to it. Lerb, this is you owning up to it. Aren't I allowed to make one mistake? One mistake? You left a goddamn arm in front of the click clack. Because of you, God knows what's going to happen to this town. What was I supposed to do? It was your screw-up. His leg stuck. And it wasn't like you couldn't, uh, called any of us. I panicked, okay? I was embarrassed. I sure wish you'd call me, Lerv. Uh, you think any of us want to do this? Guys, we can figure something out. Nothing to figure out. But, but, but I got a family. Lerv, don't insult us. You know you don't gotta worry about Jeannie and the girls. They will be completely taken care of. They'll never want for nothing. He's not gonna budge with that leg sticking straight out. Aw, oh, hell. Dave, Rick, Benny, you guys know me. Alright, Dave, you hold him. I'm sorry, Lerv. You know, we got no choice. And I appreciate it if you stop lying to... If you stop laying on the guilt trip on us. No, no, no! Hold him still. No! Hold still. This will go easier if... Holy fuck. Holy hell. Uh. Huh. Alright, he's free. Lerv. Continuous screaming. Lerv. Ain't no one can hear you out this far. You're just putting yourself to make more anguish and... Ah, oh, hell, let's get this over with. Wish you'd just make it easier, Lerv. Oh, God, his bone's sticking out. The hell? Shit. May, May Borowski? Run. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, that makes sense. Hold on, I gotta make sure I do the uh, mini game right. Although I can't run faster, and it's kind of uh, upsetting. <laughs> yeah, the ghosts or um, whatever cult this is. I don't know if I'm dead or alive. Oh no. The end of everything. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yep. I barely remember how to play this. It's like riding a bike. I play this game in my head when I'm falling asleep. Yeah, I like to go over the plots of books I've read. Ooh, look at that, Smarty. I try to remember every place I've ever been, in order. Wow. All right, well. Is May okay? Oh, okay. Don't see anyone out there. Just wait, he'll be back. 
Uh, we still have no idea who this is. And the cop. We still have no idea. Uh, big guy, dirty coat. Or several. They could swap out. I can't tell. Okay, so got brownies, got sodas. You good? Want some brownies? I'm making brownies. And yeah, maybe lasagna? Lasagna. We'll get some brownies. I got some mix last week. Why all the food? Need to eat. Everyone needs to eat. Aren't you like scared and worried? A good dinner makes everyone feel better. Some, uh, someone's gotta take care of you. Thanks, Angus. You're extremely good. Aw, no more than everyone else. No. He's a sweetheart. Uh, so as far as I'm aware, um, I'm just trying to think, um, Basically, we got chased by the cult, and I'm guessing they're staking us out, right? Well, he he more so likes to feed everyone, and his I'm assuming his anxiety is like, hey, everyone needs to eat, so I'm going to feed everyone. Um, and then, so the cult basically has been stake, like, staking us out ever since May, like, you know, got caught. I played this until I broke one of the sticks. Oh, that's harsh. Oh, that was stressful senior year. Eh, it was stressful time. And I remember. Sorry about your mom. Thanks. I'm so tired. I could, like, curl up on their bed. There's, like, a whole living area under there. So am I... What am I supposed to do here? Just, like, leave or something? So, no word from her parents? Nope. Did you leave a message? That's bad, right? Did you leave a message? Yep. Okay, I think May is actually missing. Uh, so the guy you saw in the woods at Possum Jump. Yep. Were those guys like that guy? Yep, sorta. He had a hat. Hmm. He, I need to defrost the lasagna, or do I? Do you cook it frozen? He is definitely doing the anxiety eat. Getting dark earlier. Uh, guys, this is a bad situation. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yes, I'm. Wait, everybody, shut up. What? I heard it too. Seriously, what? There's someone standing outside the door. What? Everybody be quiet. Oh my god. Well, shit. Well, shit. May is fucked, whatever is happening with her right now. I think we're dealing with something a little more than a ghost right now. Maybe. We'll see. Right now, I'm just like, May, are you fucking okay?
May, is everything okay? I don't think everything is okay. Oh no. Oh no, hon. So is this what that cat, cosmic cat god was saying? Cause that kinda makes sense. I'm not sure. God is here. In this room, I believe that. Times like this, we can call out and know uh, that our cries are heard. Life is definitely not daijobu for her. Mm. While we're here, maybe someone would like to say something about May. That'd be nice. May is a good girl. And she and I explored the stars. And, and she loved to hear about them. She... I'm sorry. It can be difficult. Anyone else? I've always known May as the kid down the street. A little younger than me, but tough. I've been through it in the past couple of years. Addiction, jail, rehab, divorce. Jesus, Summers, I thought you were... What? First of all, I thought she was younger than me. Second of all, what the fuck? And I just think it's not fair that May of all people should have trouble. Where's the god in that? Where's the higher power? This is all a bunch of bullshit. Thank you, Selma. Anyone else? I'll say something. May Broski's always been a menace, and I called the police on her more than once. I hope she wakes up and learns a lesson. That's all I got to say. Okay, never inviting you to the funeral. Thank you, William. Um, as far as I know... I actually don't know as much. As far as I'm aware, we managed to get out of the... We managed to escape the forest. There is something chasing after us. Either a cult or the the ghost is in multiple. I think it's a cult, though. Um, And I think Maya has been out in the woods for like a week. And the cult has been stalking our friends. And it's been rather crazy. Really crazy. I'll speak up. Go ahead. May was a daughter of all of us on the block. Speak for yourself. Sometimes folks in the wrong place at the wrong time. If we find out what exactly happened to her. Oh, we know. Her friends told us. Yeah, they were out in the woods at night. And down at the end of Center Ave. And someone went out, was out there hunting illegally. And they got shot at. And May fell, and she must have fallen off a million things a million times. All it takes is landing the wrong way one time, and... Oh, well. Okay, I have a feeling that goat is part of it. I hope she wakes up soon and tells us all about it. Uh, see if she remembers who done it. I'm sure she... Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. What's happened to this one? We don't... Do we know you? Are you here to clean up? Now I don't know if we are dead or not. Nah, I'm supposed to be fixing a door. In here? Nope. Okay, so... She's gonna be fine. For today, list anyways. What? What? Who are you? Janitor. The house is gone. May! Oh, thank God. What did you say, May? It's dead. What's dead, honey? May, honey? Everything. Was that a dream, or...? Uh...
I'm guessing we go to the friend's house? Yeah. Oh my god. Bia? Oh my god, May? Holy shit, it's May. It's me. You came back to life. I didn't think she was dead. Pizza party! I'm feeling woozy. You should lay down. You can sleep in our bed. I feel weird about that. How about the couch? Do I have to stop playing? No, the sound is good. Her mom said it's okay to keep her here. I'll drive her home later. So she just, like, wandered out of the house? Yeah, and all the way here. Jeez. Luckily she didn't pass out somewhere out there. Mm. I sure sh hope she's alright. Mm-hmm. Both of you, shh. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's less noisy. So, how well do you know- how well do you know this guy? We ordered pizza, what, twice a week? At least. Uh, from out by the highway now since past abilities closed down. I thought you two were trying to save money. What? Don't police our lifestyle, B. Okay, well, just as long as we're sure the delivery guy is safe, I can spot him through the keyhole. If it's not him, we'll turn off the light. And I guess hide until we die. Alright, as long as there's a plan. Hello? Look who's awake! It's him, it's the pizza guy. Pizza's here! Pizza time! Oh. So, what happened? We called the cops. Uh, your aunt and some guys fished you out of the woods. You were, like, in a coma. Did you die? No, uh, just took a very long nap. Nice. Uh, yeah, nice. I had this dream, or like a vision, or I time traveled? I don't know. I'm like in and out of consciousness. Can you not eat? You should eat. I don't know if I can. Sorry, Mom. You scared us to death, honey. Sorry, Mom. We'll come pick you up. No, it's cool. I'm gonna just sleep here. Is B there? B is here. Okay. I'll be back in the morning. Ha have you drive you home. I will. May. I know. Give us a call if you need to come home. I will. Love you, Mom. Love you too, sweetie. I am going to quickly... Uh... Take a slight break. OBS is not having a good day. So I will be right back. I'll leave this on, I guess, for noise. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I should probably.
sorry about that. I forgot to leave the um forgot to leave the game open. Oh well. Let me just do that. Get us back over here. <clears throat> I mean, I don't think it'd be, I'd be like decent amb ambiance for the time being. Anyway, so May is half dead now. I guess. <laughs> you want a brownie? Nah, I can't really eat right now. Like, I puke, but there isn't anything in there. So I'd like to puke my actual guts out. Oh, right. Uh, you need your guts. For the moment, at least. Dude, wild week, huh? You could say that. When we get out of this, I don't know if we're getting out of this. Well, even if we don't, and we're ghosts, we should hang out more. Deal. How about you, Jeremy? Or whatever your name is. What even was that game? Werewolf Shred of the Gnar 3. Wow, I played this at Casey's house, like, years ago. I played it. Yesterday. At home. Cool. Go for it, my guy. <laughs> So from what the characters are saying, so I'm assuming in the, cause like Greg said it's been a weird week. So I'm assuming that um, the weekend of the previous week, or maybe even Friday of the last week, we were, you know, we saw the cult do their culty things and <laughs> They chased us into the woods. We were in the woods for... I'm gonna assume it would be about, like... Considering how, like, May is acting, I think it was, like, at least two or three days. Because, like, she's injured as hell. And then she was in a coma for, like, probably another another few. I don't know. But that's a lot of shit to go into for a week... Or go through in a week. Then again, though... It is possible. They've got Wi-Fi. Nice. It's like we're a real place. At least within range. I don't even have a phone because of this place. And so the 1800s here. Hey, May? Yeah? I'm really glad you're not dead. Me too. Yeah. 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 Now I don't know what to do. Uh, oh. Can we all hit the snack? Uh, I'm gonna, like, wander around the apartment. I already wandered around. Can we hit the snack? Cool, I'll be right out. Hey, kids, can we do lights out now? I'm gonna drop over. Yeah, dude. Sounds good. See y'all tomorrow. Are you sure it's safe for you to leave? None of this has anything to do with me. No weirdos are following me around. Oh, right. See ya. Bye, germ. Do you know why I beat down Andy Cullen six years ago? No. Um, we weren't talking then, and I thought it'd be weird to bring it up now, and... I was playing this video game. You were like dating ghosts or something. Okay. And I was really into it. Played it like 24 seven until this one afternoon and suddenly like something broke. Broke? It was just like pixels. And the characters on screen, I felt like I knew them. They weren't people anymore. They were just shapes. And their lines were just things someone had written. And they never existed, never had feelings. They never would exist either, 
And it felt so sad. Like, I just lost these real people, and this whole thing we had, it was just me alone. And, like, that realization, like, dumped out of the screen and into real life. Went outside, and the tree out front. I looked at it every day. It was like a friend outside the window. Now it was just a thing that was there. Growing and eating and just being there. Mm-hmm. Yep. Like, all the stuff I felt about the tree was just in my head. And there was some guy walking by, and he was just shapes. Like, just like something moving bulk of stuff, and I cried. Because nothing was there for me anymore. And it was all just stuff, stuff in the universe, just dead. Wow, that's, um... And the next day was that softball game. And Annie was the pitcher, and I was up. And he was just shapes, too. Just lines somebody, someone wrote. Like, nothing in there. And I was so scared and angry and just... I don't know. Before I knew it, I was on top of him. Smashing his face in with a bat. Just shapes. Red shapes all over the grass. Oh my god, May. Have you talked to anyone about this? After it happened, they made me go to therapy with Dr. Hank. Oh god, he's the worst. And he made me start a journal. A journal? Yeah, he kind of just said it would help to be able to get my thoughts down. Did it help? Kind of? Sort of? But since this whole thing happened when I'm alone in a new place... It's all shapes. Like back at the softball game. I was doing fine at college for a while, but I couldn't make friends. I was just afraid of being outside or around people alone. And there was this statue of like the founder or something. A really shitty statue, like a rusty metal. And it was all these shapes. And he was pointing down at me. And I was so scared. I didn't leave my dorm room. Either I didn't eat or I ate entire pizzas in, at once. I downed cough syrup just to sleep at all the time. And finally, I got up the courage to leave. I came home where everything was fine. Where I knew everyone and it wasn't just dead shapes watching me. Jeez. Something broke in my head, in my life. I didn't mean to be like whatever, but it sounds like you're suffering from some serious stuff. And like, I can help you find some help for it. Dr. Hank already tried. And I think Dr. Hank should stick to family medicine and dentistry. And the half, other, half dozen other things he's done. And maybe leave the mental health services to someone else. Like, there are such things as depression and anxiety. And like, I don't know, what you're going through, it exists. I, I thought when I came home, I just... I felt so safe here. And everything made sense for a few days. And then all this. And, 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 shh, it's gonna be okay. We'll figure this out. I'm so scared. I know, we're all scared, but we're gonna make it. And you should get some sleep. I... <laughs> Actually, hold on for a sec. I hear something running and I don't know if I forgot something or <laughs> give me a sec. I'll just uh, do this. If I do something dumb. Mm -hmm.
back to the existential dread. Bye, guys. Love you. Oh. Oh. The hole in the center of everything. Are you? Are you actually ghosts? Or just some guy? What is this thing in my head? Are you doing this? Why is this happening to me? Talk. Fine. Let's do this. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Boom. Get away from her, you piece of shit. You're outnumbered, asshole. You guys shot me. Now we can all use both of our arms. I will personally disassemble you. Oh, jeez, B. Ah. No. You okay? Where did... What? You're such an idiot. What were you talking? What were you thinking coming out here all alone? A dream. This is all because of me. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you the one putting on a dumb costume? And following me around? And kidnapping people, maybe? Is that your fault now? He... It's in my dreams. Hey. Kiddo. We're out here. Outside your head. Whatever's going on in there, I believe you. But I'm not going to let you wander off into the woods to die. Oh, but... Oh, shut up. Would you let me do this? That's... Oh, that's cheating it, putting it that... Cheating, putting it that way. We're all in this now. And even if we weren't, I'd still be out here with you. Me too, obviously. Clearly... Clearly, we all would be. Listen, I'm all the family my dad has left. I, for damn sure, am not dying out here. And you're... God, you're the closest thing I have to a sister. I don't want you to be gone. So, you're not dying either. <laughs> dying noises. That sounds okay. By me. Well, he's wounded. Sounded like he went back up to the mine. Yep, what do we do? Follow him, I guess. I have to go alone. You all wait here, I'll go. Anyway. Yeah, anyway. If he's up in the mine, we might be able to corner him and tie him up. Or something. Can you walk, May? I think so. I might be a little slow. I'll help you if you need it. Thanks, big guy. All right, let's go do this, something really stupid. Gates open. Oh, jeez. What? We could like block it or shut it or something. Ah, oh, dang. You're right. No. Whatever. He. It. Whatever. It's in there. I have to go down there. Well then. Looks like all of his friends are gone. Just one guy. Just one guy. Just one something. Bang bang. Well, this isn't dangerous or anything. <laughs> Nothing to be scared of down there, just a party. <laughs> Not too late to throw ourselves into the traffic instead. No. 
know we are in the depths of an abandoned depth the depths of an abandoned mind. Mine. Words. <laughs> Looks like he took the elevator down. So much for the element of surprise. He's gonna hear us coming a mile away. You sure we wanna do this? Yeah, May, you sure? Guys, I don't know if you understand. He's in my head. I can't function like this. Everything is dying or dead already. I don't know what's gonna happen down there. Okay then. We'll come out of this together. Uh, that looks old. They haven't used this mine in like a lot of years. Generations even. Are you our tour guide now? Me is like half dead and everybody's like, all right. Uh, the power of friendship will get us through this. And also, don't do this alone, that's stupid. Uh, we have a Possum Springs tourism pamphlets at the shop. And I get bored. This is in the brochure. Well, here we are. <laughs> May you okay? I have my inhaler. No, I'm fine. It's just, like... It's like something huge is on top of me. I mean, technically you're not wrong. Is it like asthma? That's how asthma is. It's not asthma, big guy. But thanks. Shh. Here's something. Down there. You gonna be okay, May? Yeah, I'm alright. We should be quiet. Yeah, gotta save up for screaming later. <laughs> Okay, whatever wants us dead is deep in the bowels of the earth, and I don't know if I'm okay with this. Door. Door. Tunnel. Whatever. Here we go. Okay. At this point, yeah, I'd, I'd say so. Oh, look, there's a pentagram in the back. Oh, jeez. What is this place? Looks like a church or something. And, like, junk. Oh, God. Oh, God. What is it? It's here. It's here. Oh, God. Anyone else get the feeling that I have now been playing through what would be basically an H.P. Lovecraft book? Because this feels like H.P. Lovecraft, except without all the, um, everything he's also known for. And what is that? I don't know, but it's here. It's through there. And on we continue. What's up? I know you're in here. Is it gonna get scary and you're here to protect me? Aww. Say something. Yeah. And now she's sitting on the other end of the couch. <laughs> well, how about this? Take a couple more steps forward if you wanna die. Show yourself. Yeah, asshole, we're like five times scarier than you. Insert cosmic horror. Well, there we are. There they are. They're right there. I'm gonna kill them. Eid, you'll do no such thing. It's out of your hands now. He shot me. Then I'd say we're even. Little girl got shot at 
the other night. Yeah, sorry about that. You're apologizing? It was a bad call, I'm sorry. It's okay. It didn't actually hit me, so wait, what? Who are you? Bunch of old boys doing their damnedest to protect their own and their neighbors. Then why are you trying to kill me? Kill you? Nobody's gonna kill you. All of you are part of this town. By family relation or just by being hard workers. Contributors. Okay. So, could we just leave? Well, he brought you down here for a reason. And he's not gonna let you leave until he had- until he's had his say. Well, he's already got an arrow through the shoulder. I don't think he's gonna be having much, uh, say in whatever. Wait, so you think that Eid- He kidnapped that kid at Harvest Fest. At Harvest Fest. Um, he's been in my head somehow. I'm always tired, constant headaches. Um, he's been following me, following all of us. He- Oh, little girl. You don't know what this is, do you? What? Oh, God. I've seen this. Or I've- I've felt it? Was Ed Scudder and Jim Dorney who found it? Twenty years back or so. After the West Mine closed out past Bridal, um, Vest Schumacher, last supervisor, was out here, was out there when the company locked off the entrance. Carved his initials and date in the door. Then you got this mine, the old one. Not even a proper mine. Big hole, copper, abandoned, shoot, long before any of us were born. Too close to water. And that water was poison. When the first uh, settlers came here, that old spring used to be right above where we're standing. But that water dried up. 1992 or so, some men from the West Mine came back up here to try bootlegging. Practically built a new elevator, got the main tunnel cleared, never found no coal, just dug deeper and deeper. Till Ed busts through and uh, through that wall and finds his place. And Jim walks right into that hole. And never hits bottom. Ed calls town to Jim. Jim don't answer. But someone else does. I know you heard that voice, girl. In dreams and in waking times. So I brought you down here. What is it? So what does it have to do with you and me or anyone? You gotta understand. In those days, it was the end of the world. Jobs gone. Our kids were leaving. Government didn't care, only wanted our votes. Just putting in more regulations, sending our jobs overseas, spending our taxes on lazy people and immigrants. Wow, okay, um, fuck you guys. Uh, while we worked ourselves to death. Mm, here we go. God damn it, I hate this crap. You old dipshits. You finished? Mm hmm We prayed and prayed up at the church. But when Ed Scudder came back down here and listened, he got answers back. God, I think I... Yeah, right? Answers? Ed explained it to a few folks and they didn't believe it. But he was persuasive. He had that glimmer. That glimmer. One's ease take, uh, takes a shine into, it rubs off on you. You can do things. I've never seen it. But they said Ed could walk through walls. Okay. After Ed talked us into all this, after that first time, after we picked one out, well, not only was the town holding stable, but it was almost like we were getting younger and money came too. Still a few of us left from back then. First time. First one into the hole by our own hands. We owe, we own up to what we do. I was there. I was too. You threw him in the hole? They're feeding him. He's hungry, like you wouldn't believe. Every few months or so, he starts singing. And it's someone's turn to find someone. Uh, was that what you were doing the other night? Was that what you were doing the other night? No. 
What happened the other night was a sham. One of our members broke the rules and had to pay up. That was a hard thing to do. I think I'm gonna be sick. We never picked uh, no one who's gonna be missed. That's a solid rule. Drifters, drunks, and delinquents. Oh, you've been, oh God, oh no. How many people have died down here? Oh, I'd say three dozen, give or take. 39. Okay, guys got that po pointed out. Am I the only one who keep is keeping a steady count? I do now. Early on, I think we all wanted to forget. I still got a feeling heart. It still hurts. Yeah, that dirtbag kid from the spring. Casey? The Hartley kid. All he was going to contribute to society, except a bunch of kids grown up with no dad, uh, was a rap sheet a mile long before whatever sad end he'd wind up at. We did him a favor. You killed Casey? Oh my god. You bastards. Uh, we don't use that word. You know he was talking up business with his cousins, right? You know what happened to his cousin? Burned alive when his little trailer lab exploded. Oh. They had to wear hazmat suits when they cleaned him up. That's where Casey was headed. You kill Casey. Mm-hmm. And you want to act like we don't do him and his whole town a favor? Oh god, Casey's been down there this whole time. His parents put up posters. Maybe they should have cared more about him before it came to this. Which one of you did it? Greg. He was my friend. Alright now. Throw it down right now or I will shoot. <sighs> what if I get you first? Bolt sticking right out of your eye. Bang. Bang. You brought guns down here? Dangerous this far out in the woods at night? Basic safety. I... Throw it down, son. Don't make this our time. Greg. Dang it. You're monsters. None of this... None of this is happening. We are not monsters. We do it because we love our home. As long as we keep doing this, Possum Spring survives. Things can get better. These mines are going to be humming again someday. Old mines puffing smoke. You kids don't understand that. We lost our world. We lost what our world was built around. It used to be you provided for a family, bought a house, all right, so it's a bunch of boomers uh, sacrificing millennials to an eldritch god. Sounds about right. Uh, now you're stocking shelves at the grocery store. Kids leaving more um, than they're staying. No opportunity here. Old people dying, houses left empty. You ever seen that? A home become a tumbled in pile of wood and plaster. A job become a burned out brick box or a hole in the ground. We can change that. We can put this place back together, where it won't be just shapes. I'm going to die down here. Why are you telling us all this? Because we're getting old. And even with the fringe benefit of good health, we need new blood to carry this on when we're gone. Really, you're like pitching us on this. Were any of you even minors back in the day? Any of you hurting now financially? Like, or is this just some big costume party murder club for someone's shitty boss who's afraid of dying? That don't matter. It does. This is real bad. This is insane. Why should we help you? Why should we help you? Because if no one is here to do this, do you remember that flood a few years back? You remember the blizzard of 2010? That's what happens. And beyond that, when the jobs never come back, the kids never come back, everything crumbles, Possum Springs bleeds to death. And soon, we'll all be dead. And this town will just be fields and trees. I've seen it.
I know you have. I'll understand if you need some time to think it over. So we can leave. No one's gonna stop you. But I understand you don't know who we are. Out there. But we know who you all are. Ain't fair they got to leave and I probably got permanent damage. Shut it, Ede. You don't know a thing... You don't know a thing about what he wants, what he is. Ede, I swear to God. Let's go. Yeah, let's seriously get out of here. Son, you leave that crossbow. What? Why? Well, I could bullshit you. But the truth is, I just don't trust you. Fine, whatever. It's a piece of shit anyway. <laughs> I can't move you guys. I'll carry you. God, I hope May is okay. That is a little worrying. I have no idea what to even think about any of this. It's just horror. That's not a word you get to use too often. That's all I've got left. Like everything else in my head is gone. Let's get out of here fast. I don't know if I... Shh. Talk later. Old, old stuff in here. Okay, I'm gonna have to put you down for a sec, okay? Okay. So, Casey... Yep. I... Yeah. And for what? I think I get it. Wow, really? Too tired to explain it right, but... Like... They lost what they thought was gonna happen. Which was what had happened a long time ago. Or how they remember or like picture it. And things it give them. And so Casey and that kid at Harfest and... Sorry, I lost it. That's more sense than I can make of it. They're sad. It's all really sad. You really gonna go again, Angus? Mm-hmm. Sorry. Wait, everybody shut up. What? I thought I... Oh. Okay. I think I have to mash this? Okay, that guy's gonna die. Oh, that guy's dead. I'm just gonna keep hitting C and uh, hope we Oh! Hmm. Hmm, holy shit. Is everyone okay? May, May, are you okay? Yeah, right? What the fuck? May, say something. <sighs> <laughs> oh, oh, she's going- May? Oh, she's going insane. Sniff. Sob. Oh. It's okay. It's okay, I've got you. He's gone now. Shit, how are we gonna get out of here? Give her a minute. I feel coming in here from somewhere. So, we're not gonna suffocate. Okay, well, that's a relief. How do you... I was a scout, Greg. <laughs> I was a scout. Hey, Angus. Yeah? I love you. Aw. Welcome back, May. You okay? Better now that I almost got murdered. Again. Which is weird. That was like the third time in two days. Third time's a charm. Guys, uh, the air's coming from back here. Alright, I'm up. You sure? Yeah, I think I can walk at least. It's boarded up a long time ago. Can we get through? Let's find out. Let's get out of here. It? Guess I Yeah, that's some fresh air, all right. Sniff, sniff. And water. Dude, that's amazing. You can smell water? 
Hopefully it's not a river. Cave rivers are death traps. Mine river. We're in a mine. Right. Hmm. I can see the bottom. I don't think we're gonna die in one foot of water. Right. This isn't terrifying at all. And we're gone. Hmm. I know what you are now. I think I knew before, but... You know, after I sent that kid to the hospital years ago, they said I had an anger problem. But that's not true. I was angry because of something else. Something I'd lost. Trying so hard not to be angry. Got me all defenseless. Alright, bye. <laughs> and I lost more and more and more. That's not getting better. I want to be angry. When I ran home from college, on the bus I had this dream. Or maybe I saw it out the window. Last leaf on the tree, finally blown off. I'm so scared. All the time. And the fear hurts. Feeling like everything is over. It was over long before I got here. So long hiding, or trying to outrun this. I get it. This won't stop. Until I die. But when I die, I want it to hurt. When my friends leave, when I have to let go, when this entire town is wiped off the map, I want it to hurt bad. I want to lose. I want to get beaten up. I want to hold on. Until I am thrown off and everything ends. And you know what? Until that happens, I want to hope again. And I want it to hurt. Because that means I meant something. It means I am something, at least. <laughs> Pretty amazing to be something, at least. You know I can't understand you, right? Oh, shut up already. I know this won't save me in the end. But I don't need it to save me forever. I just need it to save me now. So if you're gonna kill me right here, then do it. If not... May. Dude, you okay? Whoa. You got all sleepwalky there for a sec. You want me to carry you? No. I think I'm good. I'm just... Very, very tired. Hang here for a bit if you need to. We're safe. Mm-hmm. Hey guys, there's light over here. Did you smell that? I bet he did. <laughs> I could see that. I could see Angus being able to smell light for some weird reason. Hmm. What is this? Might be a vent or something. Uh, kept the miners from suffocating way back when. Looks old enough at least. Mm hmm For sure. Hello? We're down here? Don't ask us why, please. Could get lucky and someone's out in the woods at night. I, I could try to make it out. No, I can like... Okay, yeah, are you up for this? Yeah, sure. Oh. I'm like all hyper now. Like dolphins. <laughs> Hyper like dolphins. Uh, no, like when your body is like, whoa, oh, and I almost died, and you get all hyper because you're filled with dolphins, endorphins. I'm seriously confused. Are you okay, May? Endorphins. Uh, <laughs> okay. There. Thank you. Those. Okay, well, ride those dolphins up out of here. That's a that's assuming I can even do this. Ooh, watch. Okay.
Oh, there's a ledge over here. Okay. And the bane of my existence, once again. Platformers. <laughs> God damn it. Why do these have to be precise? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> We're up now and it looks like it's gonna embrace them. Even I can beat Mario all the way like as a kid. There was like one time me and Bailey were like, oh, let's play um, Super Mario World. And we were playing with like her and Ella. And I was like, oh yeah, I used to play this game. It was so good. And I kept like, they were speed running the entire game. And I was literally sitting there on the side because I kept dying literally at every shot. Because we had a rule of like, okay, well, when you die, and then you, we switch to the next player, and I would die in like five seconds. I was like, end me? <laughs> this place. Huh. Hey, May. Germ? Yeah. What are you doing out here? I live right up the hill. Heard Greg yelling. We were all stuck down there. You're at the bottom of the old well in my backyard? It's been a really bad night. Sounds like it. Got any rope or something? Yep. Can you go get it? <laughs> Can you do something? Hey, May. Yeah? What was that? Germ? Yeah, he's getting some rope. What's he doing out here? He lives here. In the woods? <sighs> My entire body hurts. That was a long way. I brought some sodas. You're the best germ. You need the sugar and the caffeine. Uh, anyone else want to get far away from this well? Yup. Germ, can you like, I don't know, seal up this well? Hmm. I got dynamite. How the- what? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can get some. How big of an explosion is that? I mean, not small. Yeah, that works. Thanks, Germ. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Okay. Bye, guys. <laughs> Germ, can you, you know, close this up? Yeah, I'll blow it up in a sec. There goes a weird, weird guy. He saved our lives. Germ is good. Germ is a good man. Germ has dynamite. Germ makes me scared. It strikes me that we just murdered all those dudes down there. How did you- how do you figure? Well, I mean, the elevator's broken, we caused a cave-in. That was self-defense. I guess, but we did cause the deaths of dozens of guys. No, 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 no. They're still alive down there. Yeah, probably. Oh god. Yeah. Jeez. Well, we're blameless. We're blameless. They attacked us. One of them attacked us. So we're worrying about, like, it's morally gray. <laughs> Listen, we're not murderers if we stop a cult. It's fine. <laughs> if we had a choice, we wouldn't have done it. I would have. Angus! <laughs> what the fuck? Um, what? They, like, killed people. They were trying to get us to kill people. Screw them. I don't even believe in hell, and I hope they go straight there. Jeez, Angus. Well, that's what I think, at least. Is this, like, that trolley thing? What trolley thing? Okay, I'll explain it if we keep walking. Hey, 
Hey guys, um, are you there? Anyone? Okay, I'm gonna type anyway. Hard for me to say anything smart about what the hell even just happened. <laughs> I, honestly, I wouldn't exactly say he's a soci sociopathic icon. I've known a sociopath and that is not how they're like. Angus is just like, yeah, those guys are basic. If we killed a few of them, we basically save everybody else. And I, he got a good point, I guess. Hard for me to say anything smart about what the hell even happened, but easier for me to get it all out here. And I need to talk, even if you jerks are off doing whatever. None of us asked for any of this. And it didn't happen to us because we're, like, special. You can work as hard as you want, but the universe is going to keep doing what it does. And I don't think any of us deserve all of this. This is all the stuff that happened long before we were born. It's, like, moving so fast and you're dropped into it. And you're just trying to grab onto something. All of you are what kept me from floating off tonight. Also, you kind of killed that guy that saved me. Don't think I don't appre- I didn't appreciate that. <laughs> well. I don't know if I'm ever, ever gonna understand what all just happened. I hope it stopped. I just feel right now like all I want to do is wrap my arms around all of you. Not just because I love you, but to keep you all together with me. Wrap up into a ball and no one can hurt us. I'm sorry, I'm rambling. It's all good, hon. Germ, buddy. Germ, you don't even use messenger. I guess I'm just typing at you wherever you are. B, you're definitely something. I'm sorry about all you've gone through. I don't even understand all your problems, but... If I could, I'd fix them. I'd fix all of it. And I'd buy the tools to do it from your store. Or, like, borrow them at least. A better friend would buy, but... I'm what you got. <laughs> Thanks. And I'm glad. Yep, there it is. Now, I'm just gonna erase all that. Oh, shit. <laughs> Guys, I was just kidding about all that. I'm really tired. I didn't know what I'm saying. Log off, May. Log off. No. I was gonna be like, is that? Was that everything? Anything. Ah. Uh, it's good to be alive this morning. That's all. Hey, man. Uh, nice message last night. I mean, like, really. You massive dork. <laughs> Band practice today? Oh, God. Uh, because I feel like we need to do something normal. I'm at the Salcon. Uh, hope you're feeling okay. Sincerely, Gregory. Hey, May. Uh, you okay this morning? I'm not opening the pickaxe today. Greg informs me that we're doing band practice, though. I'll see you there. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Hmm. May, honey, is that you? Yeah? I'm back in the kitchen, if you want to talk. Hey, sweetie. Hey, mom. How are you feeling? Good enough to jump up here. Can you do me a favor and stay home tonight? Why? It's been... I just... You're an adult. 
and you can do whatever you want. But you do live here, and you are still my baby. Aw, oh, Mom. We need to come up with some ground rules, just because. Honey, you could have died the other night, and then you just left to hang out with your friends. I... I... I'm sorry, Mom. Sweetie, what's going on with you? I had a really tough year, Mom. Hun, you've had a tough week. We all have. Yeah, but... What happened at school, hon? I don't care what it is, just please tell me. Are you working today? No, me and your father are both off today. I'll be around tonight. Can we talk about it then? Sure. We can make breakfast for dinner like we used to. Dad can flip the pancakes in the air. <laughs> sure. Are you going up today? Yeah. Can you please stay in town? Close? Yeah, Mom. I think they're getting some of the longest night decorations out. Oh, wow. Calling for some snow, too. Well, that went fast. What did? The fall. It always does, hon. Okay. Well, I'm off. Love you, sweetie. Love you, too, Mom. Hey, Dad. No work today? I told Bob to shove it. Really? No. You okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I hate my job. Aw, Dad, why? I've mined, I've made glass, I've done a heap of other stuff. But this place, they just don't respect you for working. They don't? I mean, yeah. Oh, here come some truth bombs. Job's supposed to pay you enough to live. Job's supposed to let you provide for your family. Job's supposed to have regular hours. Boss is supposed to respect you. Welcome to late stage capitalism. I'll be your tour guide. Uh, workers are supposed to be able to talk. Workers are supposed to be able to have a life. Workers supposed to be able to live. Your mom always had to work, but... I want to give you and her your time. I want her to have hobbies, and enough time and money to do them. And that's what made me happy. Now I just work so I can keep our health insurance. And hold on to that house. To try to, at least. Is there anything you can do? I mean, we do need a union. It's just easier to say it than get it done. Unions were always there in the mines and the factory. At least for a while. But here... Listen, I'm going to be around tonight for dinner. Wow, that's- what's the occasion? Well, Mom said we can make breakfast. Oh, sounds good. I was going to talk about some stuff. Okay. Maybe we can talk about your stuff too. Just one big, uh, stuff session. Yep. <laughs> that sounds great, kitten. Love you too, Dad. Love you too. Be back later. So- Dang out claws to see if they work still. Oh, okay, help pull them up. But we'll see. You're a small fry. Dad. Actually, what... So... Basically... I mean... I don't know if it... If it's very obvious, but the dad was basically talking, like... Basics of socialism. I should probably say that. Because... Or even just, you know... Human decency, because... You know... Capitalism is shitty. <laughs> And he basically pointed out what working a minimum wage job is like. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. How did I miss? Okay, well... Okay. Can I make it? God damn it. Okay, I think it's because I jump like too early. Please, I was doing so well before. I. Listen. <laughs> 
That's a whole can of worms. And also, has not actually existed. Um, that's also a whole can of worms. <laughs> Socialism, please. <laughs> hey, May. Yes, Mr. Uh, Chazakov? Got any more dust stars we can look at? One more. Oh wow, my eyes didn't burn. Okay, I need to. F oh, okay. There is a star around here. Are you up here? No, you be. I think you're this one. Okay, right, there we go. Hmm. Found it. Let's consult the guide. Erskine the Firemaker. The Firemaker? A wanderer in the cold and dark, making a fire and huddling up to it. For light and warmth. Sounds festive. Sounds like survival. Mm. The stars make me want to cry. Cry? On my roof? Do you wish to talk about it? No, it's fine. Uh, is it a happy cry or a sad cry? I don't know. I don't have great words for it. It is okay. Sometimes, too many words. Yeah. Thank you for this. Thank you for joining me. So, what now? Super moon is coming. What is that? A giant moon. Oh, it does sound super. Uh, you must come meet me when it happens. It will be late at night. There will be others on their roofs. Uh, you come, I will make hot chocolate. What a time. That sounds great. That actually does sound good. Oh, I see a super moon. Plan on it. See you later, Mr. Chat. Chat, because I'll see you again. I'll see you soon. Stargazer. It doesn't really answer the question. Very much does answer the question. The amount of rock salt isn't the problem. I don't care. Wow. Hello, dude. Hey, it's you. Yep, yep. For now, at least. You know, I never got your name. I'm the janitor. I clean up, do fix-its, whatever needs done. Oh, okay. So, what's it been like being home again? Things like you remember, hmm? No, I don't know. I don't even remember today. Sounds like you've been through something. How did you know? Call it experience. I swear, some mornings I feel every bit as old as the trees. You know, something big did happen, and I feel like I should have woken up today. Like, I have learned something, but I don't know if I learned anything, really. Well, in my experience, the big things don't teach you anything, but they make you something. And sometimes, you gotta wait a while and see what come of it. Hmm. Done an honest day's work. Quitting time. Smelter's game tonight. See you around. Not if I see you first, May. <laughs> oh. Wait, how do you know my name? Huh. Uh. <laughs> That's a lizard person. Like an actual lizard person. What the fuck? Well, fall sure is ending. Sure looks that way. I've uh, never seen you around before. I spent a lot of time indoors. But it's nice to take a break. And I like the cold. It's brisk today. Brisk. Sometimes I stand in the cold with my arms out. And let a gust of wind pass over me. 
Town creep. Either town creep or... Because he shows up everywhere. Unless you're talking about the lizard. Uh, but the bird dude, he literally will show up anywhere. And it's like, I don't think he's a town creep. I think he's like some old deity or something. Because he seems to know everything. And it's weird. Chills me out a bit. Like this? Yeah. Is it working? Yeah. It It's cold. Maybe too cold. Yeah, you don't want to be doing it for too long. But then you can go and get a coffee or a hot chocolate or something. The endless cycle of life. It's cozy. The endless cozy cycle of life. Jeez. I hadn't thought about how cold it was getting out here till you mentioned it. It's snowing. I know. Sorry. You don't have to apologize. I'm from Canada. I have to apologize. <laughs> Alright, hey. I'm gonna put my arms down now. That's probably a good idea. The blood all ran out of my arms. Okay. No arms. <laughs> Excellent. Holy crap. A. Ah! A taco place! This is the best thing to happen to this town since... We got the internet. We're still using Cyberfish like two years ago. Because it's internally two decades behind here. Yeah, right? <laughs> Takes you three days uh, to turn to movie. Oh, God. Takes you one day to load a GIF. Barbaric times. God. Life moves on, huh? Oh, my God. They deliver. I'm going to eat the shit out of some tacos. Don't make me hungry, May Jesus. What's up, my dude? Well, look who's alive and well. Is that a surprise? Nah. It just seems like... relevant. Well, look who's alive and well, you too. Yeah. Yeah. Crimes? Crimes. <laughs> you want to get out of here? Do band practice? Mmm, yeah. God, this door, <laughs> this door just does not like to open. I bet it's worse in the summer. So, did you get all the keys uh, to the back door? Greg got one and we made uh, copies. How did you even get a key? I have no idea. Where's Greg? Oh yeah, he had to spring Angus from work. What does that mean? Zero clue. Hmm. I'm a little unclear about how both of them, how both of them still have jobs. Oh boy, I don't even remember. Okay, I'm gonna... We're gonna just quickly check here. Um, so it will be both annoying and I will also... Alright. Oh no, it's a... Uh... Oh, cool. Have to change some things or else it will look uh, very weird. And then I have to remember to change it back, but that will be later. Okay. There we go. Because I don't have a stream deck or anything, so I can't do the fancy stuff that people do, but it's fine. Okay. Band practice, and hopefully <laughs> everything works out. I'm a little unclear about how both of them still have jobs, since they seem to just up and leave work early a lot. There's a lot about those two I don't understand. I think they just plain need each other. Greg more than Angus, I think. I don't think Angus would agree. That's because it wouldn't occur to Angus to think otherwise. Because Angus is an extremely nice person. You not think they'd last or something? 
I mean, they're high school sweethearts. Once they move and change, and meet new people, and become new people, and I think Angus is gonna find he's got more options. Angus thinks Greg, like, saved him. Listen, I'm not saying he didn't, if he thinks so. Angus might also be attracted to really sincere guys in leather jackets who carry knives. <laughs> I mean, if I met the right guy, uh, those would be all pluses. Jeez, you saw, thought this out. Before you came back, they were the only people I hung out with most of the time. I've had a lot of time to study. So, like, how are you? I don't even know. I'm still processing. I'm here, though. Yeah. You? Not great. I had a dream the world was ending. Might be. Do you think we're safe? No idea. Great feeling. Yep. So, like, I'm a little confused about whatever happened last night. Well, there's apparently... Um, the whole cosmic horror thing? Yeah, that. Could you even see or feel it? Nope, but between you and the dads, <laughs> something had to be going on. It's old. It's very old. You can, like, smell how old. It's like a porch light that's on, and there's all these bugs around it, and then the light goes out, and there's a hole where the light was, it's like, what happened to me, uh, way back? Like I was telling you about on the couch last night. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that is technically what happened, was a death cult of dads. Yeah, that sounds about right. They would absolutely be playing boomer metal. Holy crap, that was last night? It seems like two lifetimes ago. <laughs> yeah. The world is extremely bad. Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, failed state? Getting pretty close. Weird question. How do you, like, get up every day and go open the store and keep doing it? I don't really have a choice, do I? I mean, you definitely do. I guess not. But still, lots of people would like, would be, like, destroyed by what you've been through. My mom was extremely tough and smart. When I found out she was going to die, it just didn't occur to me that she was fragile. Like, we're all fragile. I don't want to let her- I didn't want to let her down, I guess. Can't not give a shit. I mean, I do- I do the store, and our bills at home. Stuff with the Chamber of Commerce, uh, I'm doing free study courses online, and I'm a member of the Young Socialists. I sleep a lot and sometimes eat pizza. To each according to their ability. Well, on the bright side, you got me. <laughs> yeah. And we fix the world together. Yep, fix it right up. Uh, I guess last night wasn't so weird. It was pretty weird. Old men killing the youngs and the poors. To get back some past that barely existed. Yeah. Same old, same old. They're like ghosts in some old mansion. Killing the new owners. Makes you want to give up. Makes you want to either give up or try harder. Or you're really upset and take a nap. Yeah, naps fix everything. Or, like, a drop- <laughs> or drop an elevator on them. That works too, I guess. So... How good is your car? Good how? Well, I can drive really far. May, do you know anything about what- Yeah? I wouldn't say it's a metaphor, but yeah. <laughs> I'd say a more- a little more literal. We should, like, do a road trip. To where? Out west. It gets all flat. That it does. We can go where it's really flat. And there's the barbecue. You see, like, the world's largest- you and I think she'd be more interested in this. I think BBQ is south. Not all of it. It's every it's everywhere. BBQ. All different kinds. Dry, wet, ultra. I 
Okay, let's talk about it next year. I'll start planning it now. I thought you couldn't leave home because of your issue. Eh, you're home enough. I mean, we're trapped here together. Might as well be trapped out there together. I mean, if we're not dead by then, well... <laughs> you either... You have a way of making Doom sound like a lot of fun, Mayday. Mayday. That is actually kind of a gift. God damn this door. I think God already has. <laughs> there they are. Hey guys. Sup nerds. How did you get an Angus out of work? Made up a family emergency. My uncle got run over by a tractor. Oh wow. I mean, he did in real life too, but that was years ago. Hey, Greg, so I don't really know Casey. Mm. Yeah. I just wanted to say I'm really sorry. Yeah, thanks. And Casey was a good one. Casey was good. Should we, like, tell his parents? Probably? What do we tell them? I don't know. Can we, like, make up something that sounds real? Oh, what? The truth isn't real enough? No, you're right. The truth is insane. So, like, how do we do? About Casey? No, like, in general. Can we think about this tomorrow? Can we just play a song and get pizza? I don't think a song and pizza is an answer, really. Can we just be normal for, like, one day? I don't know how today can possibly feel normal. When I was in that coma or whatever, I saw the future. Or maybe it's now the future. Or was the future. Like flying cars and shit? Actually, those would be a disaster. <laughs> you finally meant to it. You owe me five bucks. That's a bet. <laughs> no, it was like the town was abandoned. Like being eaten and reclaimed by nature or some shit. I went to where my house used to be. When I was there, I felt completely hopeless. But now I think I could just build another house. Or I could just move on. Knowing when to hold on and when to let go. Okay, I lost my entire train of thought. Ma'am, same. Hun, same. I had it for a second. Then it was gone. Song and pizza sounds good, May. Song and pizza. Yeah. Good enough. I was gonna be like, am I? Oh, okay, so I didn't have to do the whole thing of changing shit. Thank God. She. <laughs> I don't know if there's anything more to this or. Um... So, yeah, I guess that was, um, yeah, that was, uh, Night in the Woods. I'm gonna just turn this off so it's not annoying. Um, I honestly don't know, I mean, it was a good ending, but at the same time it was like, oh, huh. I guess it gets you a lot to think. Anyway, um, that is, as I said... What? <laughs> An anime titty panel? <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, did that show? No, it wasn't. It was just a random picture on my computer. So there could have been titties, I don't know. It definitely not out of TOS, though. <laughs> They're wholesome. Wander song. Maybe. I might have to look at that. Um. But yeah, that is... Move it over here.
make sure everything okay yeah so that's all i have for tonight um wednesday if i remember correctly i am doing persona again so that'll be nice and i guess another reminder because i'll probably just keep reminding saturday is going to be a asmr reading stream uh so yeah i hope you guys had a wonderful time and i will see you all on wednesday bye